money on me, make me wanna poop. Pull up to your crib in that belly poop. Hit the studio just to take a duke. Run up to the streets with that boot loop. Pull up to your block, to your fucking trap. Run up with the stack, with the fucking crap. Get him fucking bread, getting fucking bands. Pull up on your mans like I'm Peter Pan. Fucking on your bitch, fucking on your thought. Smoking fucking rock, smoking You're fucking like crack. Nothing. Pull up in the back with the fucking strap. You're gonna Run stay on my dick trap, until bitch, you I'm die. Fucking back. Pull up with the beat, with a fucking beat. Stay. Blicky on my head, blicky on my shit. Stay. Sticky on my side, sticky on my crit. Stay. Bitch, I'm a crit, I'm a fucking crit. Pull up to your crib, make me wanna poop. All this fucking bread, make me wanna poop. You're bagging. Pull up to the studio, take a dupe. Get Confidence a real fucking job. Poop. Your life literally. Is a real, you is a summer Holy game. shit, yeah, this wasn't queued up to play. Uh, but good timing, LTG. Thank you. Hello, everyone. We are back. Yes, we are back. I would destroy your face. I would destroy your face. Oh, I'd beat you with a fucking pistol grip. Fucking pistol grip. Fucking pistol grip. Fucking pistol grip. I would destroy your face. Pulverize. I would destroy your face. Pulverize. And you know people don't like fat people. You've seen people isolate you because you're fat. Because you're fat. You can't see a dick. Because you're fat. You can't see pussy. I don't really have life. I don't really have sex because I'm fat and weak. You'll never be thin. It ruins everything. You'll never be thin. It ruins everything. Wings of depression, wings tears, wing team, wing team. John Rick, Lord of the Wing, John Rick, Ron's ankle, fat tits of lardation. It ruins everything. Welcome to Band World. Well, by the way, I still don't know how uh, queuing up the songs works. So, yeah, you can request some, but I don't know what's gonna happen. Destroy your face, pulverize, and beat you with a fucking pistol grip. Hello, chat. Good, uh, good afternoon. Good evening. Pulverize. This is a very positive track. Pulverize. 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 I would destroy it. Uh, big up. Big up. Yes, this is a fucking song. Big up, Liquid Richard. What's up, fellas? Liquid Richard came off as a person making. I don't know how song requests work. I turned it on, but I don't know how it works. The trolls are just fucking terrible people. Should I look at the song requests and then just play them? Like manually? I have no idea how this works. I don't know, dude. I'm not a real fucking streamer. <laughs> What are you gonna do to me? What are you gonna do to me? Put your bitch ass in the knee cap. That's what I do. That's what I do. That's what I do. Your life is nothing. I do. I wanna punch the faggot in his face. The faggot in his face. Like a fucking piece of meat. You're gonna stay on my dick. <laughs> People fucking swat me. People pick at me. I'm a yeah, living me. meme. I'm a living meme. Yeah, I'm a living meme. Fucking serious. You're gonna stay on my bed. What the fuck are you fucking serious? Yeah. You're gonna stay on my bed. This song goes so fucking hard. What? You know what else goes hard? Let's see if I'm gonna get blocked for this what one. What the fuck are you fucking serious? Bitch. This is the last rock. I don't. I don't want to do this anymore, man. I might Let's see about this. This song is very hard. Song goes so hard. Uh, there's no captions for it. Fuck you, Rocky Man. Free Santana Man. Free J Rock. Free Sticky. Free Pimpies Man. Your life is nothing. 
You, you, you was on some op shit. I was cruising down a nigga block with the chopstick. Rockstar nigga. Now I need a rock bitch. We want beef, not veggies, not squash. Damn, my bad boy like to talk. We pop out with mops. You gon' shoot a little. We gon' shoot a lot. I rock out with the chop. Bitch, I rock very hard. She thought it was my cock, but my clock very hard. School was very hard. School was very hard. Take it very hard. Take it fairly off. Chop, chop, chop up with a blade. Cause my bitch cough. 1911 mall. If you were the scar. My mama so hard. My daddy go hard. Take it fairly off. Take it very hard. This stuka is my wand. Take it fairly off. Chop up with a blade. It's gon' rip you apart. Use a monkey nigga so we knock your tree apart. Bullets ain't far. That's fucking racist. No. Very hard. Yeah, yeah. It's a very hard. It's a very hard. Rock like a guitar. Got out on the fucking love blog boy JB. I love this guy. Nine in a tick. Leave a nigga wet. Smoking so much gas. I think that I can feel a jig. You niggas are nothing but some work. Internet lurk. Sir, like, stay up by my soul. He talked down on internet. Hurt. Murk. Dirt. White T. Pizza on a shirt. Hey. Pepper with a op bitch. AR 15 and that hoe come with a stock bitch. Block Nathan, nigga. So I need a block bitch. He was talking train, put his ass in the guard bitch. All right, back to Richard. You got liquid Richard? You're like, I'm a fan his bitch ass. Seriously, fuck you. If you continue to say Richard, whether you're a sub or not, I'm just going to get rid of you for 24 hours. I'm banning anybody trying to give me advice. All right, ban everybody. Shut the fuck, fuck, fuck up. You fucking dick suck. Shut the fuck, fuck, fuck up. Ban these guys, dude. You fucking dick suck. I don't give a fuck, man. I got eight months fucking life at this point. Welcome to ban world. Ban world. Ban world. Ban, ban world. Shut the fuck, fuck, fuck up. You fucking dick suck. Shut the Guys, dude. You're fucking dick suck. I don't give a fuck, man. I got eight my fucking life at this point. Welcome to Bam World. Bam World. Bam World. Bam Bam World. Sleep all goddamn day. Play the same fucking games over and over and over again. Um, all day. Barely able to walk. All day. You get banned. Really talk. And you motherfucking mods. This is why you get really banned. talk. Well. Okay, we're gonna start Bam soon. World, buddy. Get the fuck out. Welcome to Band World, buddy. Why? There's a reason I'm 30 goddamn one. Gray hair, gray beard. Girls talk. There's a reason I'm 30 goddamn one. Gray hair, gray beard. Girls talk. I don't give a fuck, man. I got eight my fucking life at this point. Welcome to Real Talk. Band World. Band World. Band Band World. Shut the fuck, fuck, fuck. Guys, dude. You're fucking dick suck. I don't give a fuck, man. I got eight my fucking life at this point. Welcome to Bam World. Bam World. Bam World. Bam Bam World. Shut the fuck, fuck, fuck up. You fucking dick suck. Shut the fuck, fuck, fuck up. Ban these guys, dude. You're fucking dick suck. Welcome to Bam World. Uh, let's get it started, actually. Uh, that was the last song. Uh, hello, everybody. Welcome to this uh, stream. We are back. It's fucking amazing. Yay! Yay! And today we're going to be watching DSP. You, you know. You know what's up. Uh, now, let's see this first clip uh, called DSP. <laughs> it's saying his fans are purposely withholding money. Yes, that should go to him. That all of your money should go to him, matter of fact. Uh anyway, so let's just switch to this overlay. Let's start this video and then we're gonna watch some other all kinds of shit, I guess. And yeah, we got we got some new clown board uh items today. We got the LTG. Your life is nothing. And you're gonna stay on my dick until you die. And yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's get it started. I'm just gonna run in people also. If you guys didn't notice, we're an hour. Guys, we have 
four dollars in tips. Now I told you on the pre, well, not the pre stream, but before I started tonight, I really need help with tips tonight. Like, Mike sounds bad. Is off, it worse than last like time? I have for my day off, and it's not much. I'm like, damn. I really hope I have a good night, at Resident Evil, and it's four dollars. Like this is like people listen to what I said and are purposely like like being withholding or something. I don't know. So please, if you like the stream, please tip. As you know, we have reward goals in effect at 50, 100, 100. I told you I need the help. Why aren't you giving me the help? What's the point? It was only on $4. Holy shit. Minute, you can't even do polls and anything for that stuff. All right? So please, if you're going to contribute, please do. And, of course, um, hold on. i gotta, I got to get rid of this idiot who's trolling. He's been trolling. <laughs> This is fucking amazing. Uh, let me, oh, me DSP. Let me, let me use the bathroom. When I come back, I do want to send out a tweet. I want to send out a tweet. Hey, hey, you know, I really need help tonight, and it's the finale. Please come by and help if you can. Well, give me a second. I'm just going to use the restroom, all right? I'll be right back. Please. I really appreciate this. <laughs> he loves doing this job so much that he's going to go to the bathroom and then send out a tweet and then proceed with the gameplay. But people are supposed to give him money for the gameplay and the fucking content. And now he's going to go take a piss and then make a tweet asking for money. And the tweet was, uh, yeah, I think I can pull it up. Well, let me just see. I'll let him ramble for a little bit. Like I said, I am going to send up a tweet. And I, I literally don't know what's happening. Every single stream I've done to Resident Evil 4 has done well, actually. There hasn't been a single stream where They've I've done well. <laughs> what about Lost Judgment? We're going to see that one, too. Finale of all nights. I would have thought the opposite, but... Okay. So... All right, here's the fucking unstoppable guy on Twitter. Unstoppable Twitter guy. Let's see. Thank you for very much chill. And he tweeted this out after getting, what, 17, 14, 7? I don't know. 14, 17 dollars, something like that. It was less than 20 for the Lost Judgment shit. But uh, this is an appreciation tweet, of course because he appreciates it a lot and he did a he did the switcheroo that he likes to do usually when there's a an event that he would complain about and then we would say that dsp you're complaining about this uh big ups for the sub alley and uh he would turn it around and say the the trolls are gonna say that i'm gonna complain about this but i'm not complaining at all look how good i am so he's doing this for us he's being appreciative for us so it doesn't seem like he's uh, complaining about a slow stream. But here are the slow fucking streams. Here, of course, we got a lot of hype for the the hypest pre-stream of all time, which was terrible, terrible fucking pre-stream. It was the worst thing, worst thing. Where am I going? January seventeenth. He tweets so much, and it's all the same. Oh, here it is. Uh, here it is. Yeah, Resident Evil Four. I think that's it, right? January seventeenth. Uh, yeah, I I would believe it's it. Oh, I need some help. We're in the final segment of Resident Evil 4. And possibly I'll do some chat with viewers after the game ends. But support tonight is incredibly slow. Tonight was supposed to be for my day off tomorrow. <laughs> so please swing by and support if you can. It's fucking fantastic. I, I love tweets like this. I love it. And of course I've got 14 retweets because... Uh, uh, what what do you expect if you retweet this? That a bunch of random people that follow you on Twitter are going to see that DSP needs help for his day off. <laughs> so they're going to go and tip him? Why would you retweet? And then, oh, this is a quote retweet, of course, because he's begging. And three normal retweets because there's no point. And 13 likes. This is what, what the legacy does. <laughs> this picture is fantastic, by the way. I don't know what what came to him to put this picture on his fucking Twitter. It's it's amazing. It's just what the fuck, man. <laughs> a legend, a legend in the making. He's still a he's still a mere mortal, fallible human. But one day he's gonna be a legend. But uh, he's not gonna be alive to see it, I guess. And those uh. Actually, the, the audio schedules, these type of stuff, this is popping up. Look, almost 500 people listen to this. Uh, Hello, Phil everyone. Phil Hello, here. Everyone. Your... The company name is Burnout Productions. As usual, I just want to say thank you all for what was an outstanding streaming week. It was super fun. <laughs> we got through a lot of fun playthroughs. And I cannot wait to come on back 
and stream some more for all of you on Whoa, Tuesday. amazing. But I am off from streaming tomorrow, Monday, January 17th. Sorry about that. Hope you have a safe and fun day. Let's talk about what's going to happen when I get back. So on Tuesday the 18th, it's Condemned Criminal Origins on the first stream. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How can he bear to listen to himself talk about this schedule all the fucking time? All the fucking time. Wow. And he did a 30-minute Q&A, which is basically more pre-stream. Because every segment of him just talking is, is a pre-stream. There is nothing... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. Let's let's keep going with Phil. And people withholding contributions. There's not enough characters on fucking Twitter to type. What That's I want. uh reminds me of the end of the best streak. That was fantastic. <laughs> when uh it was ending and uh he did some overtime and then he started saying that people were if they were withholding contributions, now is the time. Okay. <laughs> Let me just fucking retype this completely. Yeah, the podcast now is uh, the daily Ask the King, and it's terrible. It's just worse because we have so ma so much more Twitter. It's like, bro, Twitter by itself is not even that interesting. And when you mix Twitter with the DSP, it becomes the fucking lamest shit ever. It's so terribly boring to listen to him regurgitating somebody else's takes on everything. Game ends, but support tonight is incredibly slow. It was supposed to be for my day off tomorrow. Wait, is this hotline Miami music too loud? All right, here you go. You gotta turn it down. It's uh, it's way too chill. As as brief as you can make it. It's the problem. With, you can't even explain anything on Twitter. You try, and every time you try to say a full thought on Twitter, it's like, nope, can't do it. No, you can do. Even with the characters that they expanded a couple years ago. You can do threads. You can do threads, bro. You have a forum, an actual forum based around you, where you go on, on massive, massive uh, paragraphs and paragraphs of explanations, and you still can't express what you mean. Because then people um, try and confront you with shit that you said in the forums, and you start evading it and saying that you didn't mean that or they didn't understand you properly. Yeah, I know. Oh, I see the attendance tonight is good. And the attendance is fucking good. He should open his uh, YouTube studio dashboard and just look at the analytics and say, you guys need to watch the videos for longer. The the average, I don't know how it's called, the watch time, the watch time is, is way too low. My target is by the time my birthday comes to raise the watch time. And that's going to be, he's going to be begging for everything. Just like how he's begging for likes on his stream for no reason. Um, I, I I mean, I know the reason is uh, discoverability, but with him is a little bit complicated because we are more discoverable than he is, and also it's more fun. So, yeah, you know what I mean? Now, finding the stream in YouTube search and coming by and say, oh, it's the finale Resident Evil. This is cool. I like watching people play Resident Evil, right? So that's great, but I do need support, guys. If you can tonight, please tip. Like I said, all tips Your life supposed is to go to my nothing. day off tomorrow, and I needed help, and a whole hour in and only having that four bucks is pretty bad. Um, so I hope that it'll pick up in the next hour. Like I said, if we do finish early, I'll stick around, do a little bit of Q&A. I don't know what's left. Oh, fantastic. And, uh, oh yeah, this is another great video, but we're going to watch this when it's in the context of him playing games badly. Now we're on the context of low tips. This is from yesterday. Yesterday. Slayer didn't show up. Slayer, the, the renowned, world-renowned pay pig Slayer. He didn't show up, so the tip's goal was 17 out of 50. 17. That's how old Leanna was when they started dating. Come on, Phil. You can do better than this. You've been over the 17s for some time now. Here's the deal. When You're 40 years old, and you had 14 years in the gaming industry, right? So you should at least do $40. Or maybe 14, I don't know. A, a dollar for a year? No, come on, you can do better than that. Is honest Much better than that. The live stream viewers as well as the on-demand viewers, all right? Here's what I'm seeing uh, when I play this game. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go watch that uh, the right sizzling here. video later. Viewership that's pretty decent for a game that I've been playing since September, even though it's post-game. I got 200, almost 250 viewers on the stream tonight, right? Awesome. The likes were good. I'm sure, as usual, people will like these videos when they watch them on the van on YouTube and leave comments and all that. But 
I'm just gonna be honest with you. I'm this this is the lowest stream I've had in many, 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 many streams. Many, it's many streams. Support stream I've had of 2022 <laughs> by far. And it sucks that this has happened with this game because I really like this game. Just being very honest with all Yeah, of then play it off the stream. I really enjoy playing that's bro. This guy constantly talks about places of business and fucking this being his job and also his passion and also his hobby and also his entertainment then fucking play games off the stream nobody wants to see this it's side content you already completed the game and it's not a chill stream because every time you want to chill and respond to somebody in chat you gotta pause the game so you're not playing the game you're just like you can't multitask like that playing it as long as i did come on just play it off the stream play something else fuck this and you know that people don't like watching this fucking game. You know this. And I said I wanted to go back once a week for- I don't know why he tries to punish his fans like that. Post game content. <laughs> Does he at this point think that only the trolls stick around to watch his shit so he needs to be more obnoxious so he can talk about him more? So he can get more publicity? Is this the, the new 4D DSP chess strategy? What? Because there seems to be demand. He's just lazy. As I said, my philosophy is thus. If people are entertained, they're watching and they're liking some content. I'm doing good, right, Pipe? Right? What's up and with I, you? I'll say this again because I said this. Also, hello, everybody in chat. Like for a while, especially around the last third of the playthrough of Lost Judgment, that it was actually Slayer who was kind of single-handedly supporting the streams in a huge way. Not to say that there weren't other people, okay? Don't get me wrong. <laughs> But it was definitely Slayer who was coming in as the hero a lot of those streams and coming in with like a big Hail Mary. Oh, he, he said thus again. I fucking and hate that. And I don't think it's fair, honestly, to do that and, and to have people... What do you mean it's fair? Oh, Slayer's just going to support the stream. No. But no, no. they're not even supposed to think about that. They are not even supposed to think about it. When somebody fucking clicks on your stream to watch your fucking shitty gameplay, no one is supposed to think who is gonna give you money or if they're gonna give you money or how much money you're gonna raise They're supposed to think about what's happening on the screen and if it's fun and if it's entertaining and if it's worth staying and This obviously is not since uh, 17 out of 50 and the guy that usually gives a lot of money didn't give a lot of money today So this is where we are It's not it's just not how it works and it's just crazy to me that the playthrough worked as long as it did, but I guess now it's 2022 and people just want new stuff. And the thing is, I had a blast tonight. We had a lot of fun conversation. Had a fucking right? had a blast. Again. But again, as much as this is my hobby and I love doing it, it's a bit. Hey, big ups, Rypie. That's great I news. Really bad stream. Okay? Everybody, prayer hands in chat for Rypie and the the firstborn daughter. Big ups to that. Well, same time, same place. Shut up, Phil. We're having a positive We're fucking moment. We'll probably go do that ninja mission, right? We'll do the few things that are left over as odds and ends that I'm seeing in the game. We'll see what's left. I think right now what's left is really the squirrel stuff. And after that, that might actually be it. Yeah, that's some good positivity, okay, everybody. Because uh, mission that Slayer has told us about, that's the, the, the chatter mission that we couldn't figure out. We may be near, if not at the end anyway. You know what I'm saying? Um, So maybe we'll, we'll do it one more time and see how it goes. But... I cannot, in, in good conscience, in good intelligence, I just can't keep playing it. <laughs> don't, it's, it's don't, not exist. don't. Right, tonight, I didn't, as you noticed, I didn't complain. I was like, whatever, it's fine. We're having a good time, but don't. I can't have it. Keep the truth of the matter, so, the truth of the matter is thus. You know that your audience doesn't like watching this game. And most of the time, it's just one pay pick that gives you money. And even though you enjoy this game, you should probably not play this game and play a different game instead. One more week. I'm, that's why I'm saying that. You don't have part, to be a mature adult to figure this out. And you guys watching on demand on YouTube understand that unless we get more support, the no, they, they're not supposed to care. Demand, you know? The uh, the moment you make people have to care about your personal finances and shit, then you fucking failed at what you're doing. You're supposed to be an entertainer, and it's not very entertaining. So. Slayer says, I think honestly the only mission. Hate Army Watch Super Chatted two dollars. <laughs> Top tip gets to name Rypie's daughter sound good. <laughs> oh, we're gonna give her a vest. Better of substance is the ninja side mission. Oh, big the ups, uh, Hate Army Watch for the super chill. All right. So anyway, guys, thank you for being a great live audience. You guys who were here tonight, 
We're really yeah, we can give her a tiny little vest. That's going to look cool. For those watching on demand, please like the videos, leave comments, support any way you can. We'll probably do it one more time next week and go from there. All right, guys, thank you. Thank you. Judgment. You see, you know who they're going to say that I'm fucking complaining, but I didn't. You see, I didn't complain. I just went on for six minutes in total about talking about how I need the money and it's unacceptable to be doing this anymore. Next time. Might be the last time. The right. as, as he said once, in, in this is one of my favorite DSP quotes, the responsibility of supporting this stream shouldn't fall on one person. This is what Phil fucking said. I love this quote. It's one of my favorites. I need to probably go and find it and put it on the clown board. All right, everybody. Uh, all right, what fucking Phil. You know what's hilarious is I know for a fact that you know who. You know who. You see? Pay attention to the fact that tonight I didn't <laughs> yeah, I totally clowned him on Twitter. I clowned him on Twitter because that's what I do on Twitter. Uh, Twitter.com. Do I have to fucking log in every time? This is cringe. No, I don't. I'm already logged in. So epic. Of course, I... <laughs> hey, this is the Grug fan art. Here it is. I made Grug fan art because... Uh, I don't know why. I actually don't know why. But here it is. This is the Grug fan art. You can go and then like it on Twitter. <laughs> and uh, yeah, here it is. Stop withholding those fucking tips. 17 out of 50. And we get a clown board. No. You're going to stay on my dick until you die. Yeah. So uh, yeah, this is how much I like DSP. I, I talk about him a lot. In general, this year, I'm obsessed with him. Really I'm not going to tell you. You guys, you've been supportive on every stream. Besides this one. Basically, every stream has been ultra supported. So I'd ultra be ultra supportive for streams. Complaining because we had one slow stream of law of all games, Lost Judgment, a game that I've been playing since September. Right? That'd be yeah. It's a slow game already. I would say pretty uh, two faced and greedy and just being a complete dick if I acted like that. I'm not going to because I've had a great time. By the way, the stream has been great. I had a really good time tonight. So let's see what <laughs> it's a reverse right? pignology. We we'll just beat everything anyway. <laughs> Maybe we will. I'm not no, complaining, you guys. I'm not complaining, even though I didn't get any money. I didn't get any money today, and you should probably have more responsibility for supporting me, but I'm not complaining. That's the end of it, okay? All right. So, thank you, guys. We got Dissolving Duality. <laughs> Dissolving. The super sticker of that, that, uh, what is it, a pair? Smooching the air. Smooching. Wow. Interesting. A smooch. Omega Kirk super chatted $2.65. Okay. It's so now it me attacks fault smirk. Deal. I'm going to upload all the games. <laughs> I did nothing right wrong. I didn't do anything. I didn't touch the poop at all. I just make fun of it. Three different kind of streaming. And I put it in, in HD. I enhanced the poop. <laughs> okay, tomorrow it's going to be Skyrim Anniversary Edition on the first stream. Continuing on. Oh my god, no, shut up. This is fucking terrible. Every time I, I hear tomorrow or, or next stream or something, I completely zone out. Oh, that's right. Will be the first half of separate ways. No. Thus. Thank you Thus, very much for a really high engagement, high, high, high fucking stream. engagement. What was high engagement? Let's see the high fucking engagement stream. DSP Gaming. All right. This is uh, our guy. And this, I, I do it basically on a daily fucking basis. <laughs> Every time I stream, I pull up his, his YouTube to, to just prove to you. To prove to you. Look at this. This is a dead channel. This is a dead fucking channel. 200 views. When has it been this fucking low? For 16 hours? Who is watching this? Condemned Criminal Origins. Bruh. Impromptu Q&A. We could watch this later. I don't know. I'm going to put it in the in the queue. Uh, impromptu bullshit. What was it? it? This is here. Lost Judgment. High fucking engagement. 200 views. What is high about this? You're a high DSP. 10 likes. What? Huh? And of course, we got the romance cat guy with with his epic comment to to express Mystery support. Super chatted ninety six cents. Beg. I'm gonna like beg, it. I beg, love this comment. This All comment. All you do is beg. Pig face. All right, we're done with this trip. The Phil trip. Really fun. Yeah. Okay. Uh, very fun. Very high fucking again. engagement. I get it. Uh, big ups, Klaus, for the big, 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 super, super chill. Uh, let's see the new dish that they had with cat was so exciting and he was talking about uh, his day off Which was that was a terrible segment. I'm gonna not play this instead because it's bad 
and uh, they went to a to an IHOP, and it was greasy. And they gave her what was it, chicken tenders that are greasy, and looked like they were bought from the store. Very good. Which was exactly what they were. Okay, man. I'll tell you guys about it in a second when I finish here. <laughs> Have you ever watched fucking Kitchen Nightmares? Nothing is fucking fresh. Everything is fresh frozen. Dinner was a real, uh, something new we wanted to try. Like it's fucking it Elsa. Really well. So tonight, Kat and I did something completely different. We did a recipe, okay? Here's what it was. It was homemade... Listen to this. Homemade chicken quesadillas. Okay, now how do you make them? Now? <laughs> the the romance cat thing is uh, is really funny to me because it's always an approved comment, L literally like instant, uh, and it, it's just romance cat. And I know the DSP probably thinks, hey, this guy is just some like fucking random guy, <laughs> romance cat. Why? How is this approved? Home. Might and if I go and say, Phil, I really like this video, I'm gonna get blocked. Or a shadow deleted. I said, well, if you're not in a restaurant, right, you can't, you can't like do how they do their fry them up or whatever. Uh, right? Didn't we find out why like, his stream was canceled the other day? As far as I know, no. You just said it was a a, a thing, a personal thing. I don't know. Um, actually, but he finally got his garbage thrown out. Actually, you bait. The DSP is three percent vegan. I'm, I'm sure he is. I never thought about bait. Like I always thought only three percent. Like, uh, that makes sense. Because burgers have some uh, some lettuce on them. Top and put it in a pan, or maybe they probably have like a panini press or whatever. But you can actually bake quesadillas in the oven. Yes, I'm okay. okay. So I'll tell you how we did it in a second. Hold on, let me eat all this delicious food here. <laughs> so here's what we did. So you get burrito-sized tortillas. You gotta get the really. You can big. still play the game. Okay. And you get an actual big baking tray, which we have. No, keep playing the game. You can talk. Things. And what you do is you take some cooking spray, you spray the tray. You don't go crazy, but you make sure it's okay. cooking spray. Okay, yeah. Then you take a tortilla, and you wet each side of the tortilla with cooking spray. Don't go crazy. Just give it don't a go spray. crazy. You know, you gotta get a good amount on there. And then you take all your ingredients. So we had pre-cooked chicken that was already Pre-cooked chicken, okay. Like a Mexican style, they call it fajita chicken. You can buy these. All right, yeah, so it's already, the, the homemade bullshit is, is, is already debunked. It's fucking homemade with pre-cooked fucking chicken. Thank you Freezer. for the custom style fucking meal with the pre-cooked chicken. So we bought a bag of those. Didn't even fry his chicken or make it whatever on a on a pan. Um, uh, a, a Mexican cheese blend, light uh light fat, like low fat Mexican cheese blend, which is wow. Right okay. It's way too I much realize. detail. Way too much. Anyway, let's let me let me finish my story with you guys before I get lost here. So. Well, and again, of course, game is paused. We're looking at the map screen, uh, and it's great. It's great. Now he's gonna explain his fucking meal. So yeah, so meal. You do, you put the chicken. You put the pieces in on only on you one put side the of the pre-cooked chicken in the custom wrap. style wrap. Formation on one side of the tortilla. Then sprinkle some cheese, and you want a good amount, but not too much, because you don't want too much oozing cheese making a mess. If you don't have enough, it won't stick together, because it's like the glue of the quesadilla is the cheese. Then we did uh, a chopped fresh green onions, sprinkled those in there, and then we did a pico de gallo that we also got from the local grocery store, and that's a mix of red tomatoes, uh, red onions, and cilantro with a few jalapenos. Mm, delicious. So you put all that in Amazing. There, all right? And you fold it over into the half circle, and we made three of them, okay? And all you do is you bake them in the oven for about eight minutes. You take it out, you flip it. I have a, a flat spatula that lets me flip you bake it in the oven for about another five minutes. And when it comes out, it's not perfect. It's not like if you made it in the restaurant. But it actually is good. It was crispy, <laughs> which was cool. And it was you made it in good. the restaurant. He put so much fucking prestige. Because, bro, I've watched hours and hours of uh, of kitchen nightmares. And I've, I've heard things that people have told me from working in a kitchen in a restaurant. And I've worked. One of my first student jobs was to wash dishes. And I know how fucking miserable and lazy sometimes this shit can be. So he's talking to me like fucking restaurant food is uh, incredible. Like top shelf shit. Dude, uh, it was a crispy tortilla. The he's just he's he's just bad at cooking. So everybody else, when they cook, it's amazing because also they cooked it and it didn't take him any effort. It smelted perfectly. All the ingredients tasted amazing, and then we had salsa and sour cream to dip it in. Just Probably like nine dollars and thirty-two cents, Romance Jenna.
<laughs> Bro, no, stay back. Stay back from Jenna. <laughs> we're eating and we're like, wow. It's we're dangerous. Like, You're going to stay on my good no. man. Stay. This God. is like really good. Like, I couldn't believe it. it did. <laughs> She's following me on Instagram for some reason. There's literally no reason why she would be doing that. Again, it tastes I don't even know how she found me. At a restaurant. I have like 20 it followers. Outstanding. And we were full after we ate. We were like, wow, we were afraid maybe it wouldn't be filling. No, it was filling. It was delicious. It was filling. Like, we were blown away by like how Like you went to the dentist. But anyway, we were completely blown away by that. We were, we ate it. We were like, I can't believe how good it was. We thought it was our first attempt at doing it. So we thought it'd be just okay. And we eat it and we're like, oh my God, like crazy fucking good. And now we would definitely want to keep doing it and add it to the meals. That we have. <laughs> I should hire Jenna to, uh, to read the super chats. It was easy too. It wasn't even a big I can pay her like a percent. I don't know. And it wasn't a lot of <laughs> <laughs> She's and like Okay. I'm not going to say that. That's too much of an asshole. Super easy. Said, did you know in certain parts of Mexico you have to specify that you want cheese in your quesadilla? Even to me being Mexican, that's weird. I don't think that's weird. Um, isn't it true? What if you're lactose intolerant? That's an Americanized version. That I they don't know. Have, I'm not right. Like they actually, you know, you, you, like they call it a cheese quesadilla because it's the quesadilla that has cheese in it, right? I think that's the case. Oh right? yeah, Jenna was talking about some um, unaliving kind of stuff on her Instagram. Yeah. Oh, but I think that's what it is. But then it was back, like, maybe a couple of hours later, it was back to, like, naked photos. There's so I, I guess she's okay. Here's, okay, here's another case I don't know. That. I don't follow her back. That's what I would... I, I, I want to make the bottom line is that I don't follow her. She follows me. To put cheese all over everything. <laughs> um, this this motherfucker yeah. is talking about cheese. I think they Bro, we're cool. talking about different kind of cheese. With Kool-Aid. Omega Kirk super chatted two dollars and sixty five cents. You could pay her with Kool Aid winking face. I haven't seen Kool Aid uh, here in my stores. Soak everything in butter. I don't even know how it tastes, man. They think that makes it Italian, and that's actually not true. All we got is European style stuff. Don't use a lot of What the fuck is he talking about Italians? But you're not Italian. It's actually a weakness. You're not Italian. The Americans have because they've Americanized Italian food has been like that. You see. So I'm not shocked really to hear does. that if, in certain parts of Mexico that they don't use a lot of cheese in their food. That actually sounds correct to me. Oh, uh, anyway. So Slayer- so People are, are saying some shit in chat about me hooking up with some fucking woman. I don't even know who she is. $1.50 says what you just ate was Korean food, kimchi, fermented cabbage, and chili paste. I had that one right. Doc Galbi is a dish made with chicken stir-fried and gujang sauce. Wow. <laughs> okay. Bulgogi is like chicken. And then Bruh. Bruh. is barbecue. Cancel everything. Today and right now, especially, I'm in a mood for some Washington fucking vlogs. Because present day DSP is just uh, 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 terrible. It's terrible. And it triggers my depression. That was my depression. And everything else. Your life. Nope. Uh, and we're going to be watching some old vintage classic 2014 moving to Seattle vlogs uh and then mm, later probably some other stuff but now we're gonna start with this man versus toilet serious bathroom business this is from uh july 2014 when the future was bright the the, the girlfriend was a daughter and everything was fucking amazing and he had to wear shades of how bright the future was all right everyone so we've got a and then a solar eclipse happened <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is now a toilet stream. It requires the proper tools. Oh, to no. So, Stay. what's been happening? First of all, you've got to show how you look. Show yourself there. <laughs> in the Dox your face. Dox your face. Hey, she's wearing a, a turban. In the master a turban. Toilet. I'll show you. Come in here. Here's what happens. That's a, a, a... I believe they call it cultural appropriation. Watch what happens with this toilet. Watch what happens. No. What did you drop down the toilet? See what happens? Pregnancy the test. Not go down smoothly. What's happening is that there's got to be something clogged in that pipe. Whether it's a wad of paper, whether it's a big dookie, I don't know what it is. A big dookie? There's something stuck in that pipe that's not allowing the water to go down quickly. See, now look, the water's very slowly trickling down, trickling down, trickling down. So what I need to do is clear this up. It's clogged. There's two ways to do it. 
One would be a toilet snake. Which is <laughs> and here, uh, this is one of the vintage videos. So we see full scale DSP walking and doing physical activity, which is something that we don't see nowadays. And he also has a, what I would say, a pretty normal, average skin complexion. So he doesn't look like a ghoul. He looks like the radiation was just setting in, but not yet. I know my dad just like it was, it was getting close. Fucking soaked. It's gross. Whatever's in there is gonna come out in your hands. It's fucking nasty. Yeah, uh, he's waddling in this too. So he waddles a lot. <laughs> this is a super powered plunger. What? That uses the oh, they bought a fucking balling. gimmick. Shit, you not. There is a gaff pressure. <laughs> he was bawling so much he couldn't even get like one fucking plunger that is normal. He got some gimmick plunger. Hydraulic of course. In this it looks gun. like a baby missile. It basically launches air into your fucking toilet and it's supposed to blow out whatever kind of clog you have. So basically it's like what you do to the toilet, only reverse. What? <laughs> You know, no, like, no, I mean, it's, it's literally it's like a rocket power. <laughs> what panda? It's like Are you? Does he medicate those girls? So does he give them some some sort of uh, prescription based medication that is supposed to be for his back, but he gives it to them so they don't run away? What the fuck is this lady talking about? Hopes of this is that the air Bruh. that's gonna come out of this thing is gonna blow whatever that claw is out of the pipe. And this is yeah, gonna this could have uh, probably yeah. fucked up his pipes. They have lots of precautions you have to take, all right? The first precaution... Yeah, he's giving right, them a pill. Use this, what's called a clear drain guard, because they said there will be much splashage in it. No, this is not the... It's not the bacon grease toilet. This is a toilet in Washington. It's not the, the one in the Connecticut condo. That one was the bacon grease from back in the day, the... I think the gamer streams. If that's the same thing, but I think it is. <laughs> I'm gonna spread this out on the toilet like this, okay? They also said to tape it down. They're this serious, they're like, tape it down, it's not that much. Right, okay, <laughs> so we got freaking packing tape. I'm gonna tell, tape this fucker down, this toilet. I'm not taking chances, man. I'm keeping this towel and this head wrap on me. I'm like a over there. I think you live in Iran or something. Hey man, if if shit literally goes flying, the last thing I want is to take another shower. I'd rather just wash towels. Who knows? The freaking dead rat's gonna come out of the fucking drain or something. I don't know. I don't know what could be causing this clock. Okay. Bro, what the fuck? So the fuck is happening? Step two. Did did he try and put some uh, some chemicals in it or something? Use the toilet seat to support it down because it might. Why is he so fucking uh, special? They also said. <laughs> Proper safety precautions. Be sure that there's no flying debris that could hit you in the face or the hands. So I bought this safety gear. He's so winded from Two talking hands. and moving a little bit. In order to apply the plunger. This is what Ready? peak physics Gloves. looks like. Very important. Mr. Olympia. Dookie could burn your hands off if it touches. I should be wearing a full hazmat suit, but they were out. I couldn't rent hazmat. All right, so here we go, ladies and gentlemen. What the hell? I can't even put this on there. <laughs> All right. I'm ready to unclog the toilet. <laughs> Let's do this. Why is this so funny? Come on. These people are fucking children, man. This is like a middle-aged fucking child. <laughs> okay, let's go and plug the toilet. Right. Shouldn't I have some safety glasses? Right. Yeah. Preparing, hold on. I have to form a full seal. You might want to step back for this, honey. You ready? Hold on. No, clear this out. Oh, no. nice ash. I may be blown completely backwards out of the bathroom when this happens, so we got to make sure that everything's out of the way. Here we go. Ready? Mm-hmm. All right. I'm actually kind of scared now. All right. Get in position. <laughs> All right. Ready? One. On the count of two. Right. One. All right, go. Two. Come on. This is content. This is real content. They should have. They should have stuck to family. Uh, family vlogs. Family vlogging is so popular. It's basically just this. But you, you drive a Lamborghini as well. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. What was that? Holy fuck. I don't know why I'm so excited over this. <laughs> Omega Kirk no, super chatted two dollars and sixty five cents. Row, row, row your boat gently down the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> gently down the toilet emoji. Big ups, Kirk, for the super chill. 
The cartridge did work. The oh, cartridge did work. Here. Try flushing, come on. Oh god, there's shit everywhere. All right, this is the flushing. There isn't shit in anywhere. Yeah, it goes on good. Yeah. <laughs> Who the fuck is saying that Phil is not a handyman? Who was saying that? We need to, to find them. Toilet flush. I don't trust it though. We're gonna test this. Hold on. Oh no! Now I we close the door. It, Hold on. No, don't close the door. Let's continue. We gotta wait a second. Let's flush it again and see if it flushes. Oh, I thought you were gonna do something no. horrible. <laughs> I think we fixed it. Nice hair, by the way. We fixed it. It literally blew a piece of your hair up. <laughs> this is how it's done. That's how you take out a clock. You take a clock. Yeah, you buy a specific, super special, weird fucking uh, plunger that you would only get if you regularly get clogged toilets. Your own I don't fucking know, man. I don't fucking know what to say about this. You just saw what it is. He unplugged the toilet. Green hands. He is fucking triumphant. Right, so I guess that's how you do it. She wins yeah, again. It actually, it actually worked. I, the hands are covered in, in fecal fecal water. Oh, here. no. Please, no. Untake this shit. Drain guard. Fecal Ooh. water. That was scary. I thought for a second it was Yeah, good. that could have been a thumbnail. Maybe someday. Dude, soak your leg. Let and his career goes down the toilet again. Ew. The floor. I need to clean this butt, man. Oh. Damn. Here, you want some? No. Want some honey? No. No. <laughs> 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 Do you want some poop? Not too wet. You had to poop, cat. My foot, my leg it's all piss. It's all over. It's, it's all, all around the toilet. It's all piss. Wait, wipe it down here. Only piss, not toilet. I think we this. We need to air out. We'll put it in the garage. Ew. We're gonna use it again, right? Still Black Mage six hundred and sixty-six well, super chatted five dollars. These people are so lazy. Their toilet paper holder holds two rolls at a time. BTW. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But maybe they have the the bougie. A toilet paper holder that that can hold up to probably four because you can see on the other side it looks like there's there's some more space for more toilet paper clear drain let me see the because i didn't i i completely forgot to pause and nitpick what is in the frame i completely forgot but big ups black made go. for uh for the super there chill go. all right good stuff want to have any more advice <laughs> this is a nice one. You can take a screen cap Manga of this Turk, when the alert goes away. And 65 cents. Get a load of them hobbit feet. Yeah, the, the fucking hobbit feet. <laughs> uh, big ups. Thanks for the camera when I'm plugging a toilet. Uh, oh, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> ah, that's right. fucking disgusting. <laughs> Let's see Washington Vlogs 2014. Uh, Washington Vlogs. 2014 let's see when they were moving because that was peak dsp best fucking life 87 vlogs he made thousands of dollars off of this shit off of actually just moving that's why i told you he would be amazing with uh with family vlogs but uh his, his family is a little bit too boring hey there's a lot of food like actually a lot of food basically every day and then meal vlogs oh of course it's called fucking meal vlogs new office setup terrible uh, let's see bedroom storage nook. I don't know. I might have watched these, but at this point, who fucking cares? Who fucking cares? It's it's a DSV. <laughs> I have uh, yeah, nothing better to do. Your okay, everybody. So nothing. we're heading upstairs now, and here we are. A nice wooden staircase. What you see here, here's the staircase. What you see here is where we wanted to hang one of the two pictures. In fact, we wanted to hang one of those flower pictures from the dining room here and one here, but they fell off the wall. We have not had a chance to try what to are we looking that. at? It's probably going to be Bro. a major pain in the ass because I'm going to have to put nails in the wall, which is going to be a This house really is too big for you. Oh, wait, we're not. Why is this such... And first this house is just way too big for two well. people. Well, just, you know, we had it downstairs in the garage. I get it. If you were planning to like have a family or I don't know, hide refugees or something, it's fucking good. But you're two people and a cat. I forgot this one upstairs. This must feel like this the loneliest place ever. Closet. And it's also this like generic house that looks so fucking generic. Okay, what and is there here? Yes, we did. Extra All right, that's towels. chill. Extra towels. For the entryway, Congratulations. Through. So this is my dresser. All of my clothing is inside of it. I love okay. it. It looks really nice. Okay. Okay, this is and pretty bad placing. It looks weird. 
as you can see, easy glide drawers. And if you were actually watching our Connecticut bucket list vlogs back in June, this is <laughs> yeah, actually... Liana didn't uh, Liana didn't let him make this into a gaming bachelor pad. The she wanted looked... it to be I don't know what because now yeah, it's, it's still boring. Really he should have just put out all the statues everywhere in the tackiest way possible, like he he loves doing. It's like furniture. <laughs> Like we actually have you have it like kitchen counters that you're supposed to use for like anything else, but putting gaming statues on them, and that's what he did. Vlog of it, so you can actually see it in action if you want to go check that. Oh out. yeah, so Connecticut store. bucket list. We should watch this definitely. And one day I'm gonna watch him going to WrestleMania because that was awesome. He spent so much fucking money, and it was all a business expense because he filmed a couple of vlogs there. And it was all a tax write-off. Going to WrestleMania with Rambo. Jeans, shorts. I still have some room in here, which is nice. This is winter clothing. Long all right. sleeves. Yeah. No patience for this bullshit. What is there? What is it? His, uh, let's see his trash can. What is in his trash can? And be careful. Oh. It doesn't... Oh, it's a... Look. Look. It's paper napkins. For when he jerks off. <laughs> Almost all the way, but then it hits the dresser. The, uh, I don't know what I was doing right here. I have no idea what's happening. So, the walk-in closet, ladies and gentlemen. What we've got in this closet is a bunch of stuff. First of all, one area I have... Oh, and after on. this, uh, this is a good segue into uh, a video of him hoarding. Heck yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to watch the hoarding video. Is the things that basically need to be hung and like heavy, heavy, heavy winter... Yeah, like DSP. <laughs> ...is down there. I didn't touch that stuff yet. <laughs> That's the things that need to be hung. Because I'm not even close to being able to, or to, to to wear any of it, all right? It's way too hot. And in the next few months, that's probably when I'll start hanging that stuff up. All right. So we have no that's a nice closet. That's a nice... What is this? Is his season. ceiling getting this fucked? Going to act up. Bro, why right, did you buy this house? So that's... Some nice water damage we're going to no. keep an eye on. We're hoping that the roof no. will fix Why? No. And this is my biggest fucking confusion of, of this, this shit. <laughs> Why didn't he just rent some fucking apartment somewhere? He could have rented a pretty chill apartment and managed to pay it and not get himself in massive debt. Just rent something out and then just do your job and, and save up some money and eventually do, you know... Whatever's happening. But he bought this fucking house that's a lemon. It's way too big for him. And it's in some weird-ass private community that's not even, like, really worth living in and, and confusing. He should have just rented some, like, mid-level apartment or some house in the suburbs. I don't fucking know how prices go. But still, it would have been... I, I would say the price would have been better than crippling yourself financially i think that would have been a little bit better but we don't know yet um clothing right clothing all hung out i'll have to unpack this one at a later date um all right bro this clothing you don't have to tell me everything yet this is my nightstand okay napkins for you know why hysterically at me because i have a bunch of stuffed animals on my nightstand yeah stuffed animal there's um you know yeah. uh big ups uh for the sub i, I can't read your name it's just confused me too much i'm sorry you know we have not a lot there's almost nothing in this nightstand right now so i'm not even gonna buy i think it's like what do you want to have and actually what do you want to have in the nightstand? Dildos? Handcuffs? Yeah, see? Comic books. Strap on? Huh? Oh, comic <laughs> books. When the fuck do you read Rose's comic books? Wow. Exciting. Some yeah, never been stuff. touched. Nothing really major in this nightstand at all right now. Because uh, I just really don't have anything to put in it. The bed? Yes, you've seen the bed before. There it is. It's a mess right now. Comic books. <laughs> Classic. Never played it yet. On the other side, we've got the other nightstand. Hey, panda feed. Which is the smaller one. I don't know if Leanna has put anything in that yet. And then here we actually have a little table that you can put on the bed for like breakfast in bed. It's rolling stuff. joints. Set, but we have not had a chance to do anything with it yet. So it's kind of just sitting there for now until we actually get a chance to, uh, you know. Yeah, he bought the house without yeah. inspection. Yeah, stands up. <laughs> And I know that he was supposed to go all around the place and like in a bunch of different states and look for, I don't know, the better houses. But he went to Washington and was like, hey, I guess here's good and just took this house. It, it, it's, uh, it's just DSP did a DSP thing. So, yeah, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? There you go. See? Yep. 
You had it what? the whole time. You didn't use right. his legs too, you know, to support it. You don't have to put it on your legs if you don't want. It'll lift it up. Shut up. Show Panda's feet. Legs underneath. <laughs> <laughs> Stop showing this table. All right, we got a demonstration of the table. Can we move on? Panda is watching some some child stuff. YouTube kids is watching a Jake Paul vlog. Look at that. All right, that's awesome. Now she realizes that's there. She's probably gonna use it every single day because she just didn't realize that it was sitting there. So there you have it. <laughs> Utilize what we actually got. There we go. Very All nice. Right. Now she can relax on her iPad. All right. We've got a flashlight nearby because that's always needed. In fact, that's probably what I'll put in my Very nearby. You should put this in your Here's a fan. We actually bedside turned this table. Off for the first time since we've lived here because it was cool this morning. Okay. Yeah, I know. This is a storage ottoman. Not really. It's more of a bench, a storage bench. It's cool because when we wake up in the morning, you sit what? down. That's where you sit down to get dressed. No, what? Inside of this, you can sit down on the bed. <laughs> they just bought this for the sake of it. Let's just have it to sit down on it while we get dressed. Are you a fucking grandpa? <laughs> Holy shit, DSP. Come on. Oh, Come on, you fucking fascinate me. You can sit on, on your side of the bed. Just turn around and sit. We've got all kinds of winter stuff. Blankets. Remember when I showed you these custom blankets that were made custom by... Custom blankets? Those are in there. In addition to that, other blankets. And a, another custom blanket you guys probably never saw one that, I made that she never used because she was afraid her dogs would chew it up. And now that we're alone, she can actually gonna... use it in the winter. Love That's it. gonna be exciting. Here we have, ladies and gentlemen. Everything is custom with him, bro. He's just yeah, like it's something else. Here we have Leanna's dresser. Leanna's dresser is freaking wow. huge. Wow. So it's definitely gonna be big enough to hold all her clothes when she unpacks them. She just has to get around to unpacking them. <laughs> She's like actually a child, bro. How could you date this lady? As a mature fucking adult with a business degree. He was a mature adult with a business degree in 2010. And he was dating this lady that's questionable. Up here, her little jewelry box where she puts her jewelry. And this is the conundrum that we've come up against. I want to show this. What, that it's tight to pass? People always have suggestions. So this is what it looks like from our bed. I'm actually going to sit on the bed. All right. Oh, Phil, you need to buy a massive TV. You can't just have this TV. What the fuck is this? What the heck do we Bro, do something TV? that was so fascinating is how small the screen that Cat used to play games on is. That screen was so small. So fucking small. Because and DSP is playing on a massive TV. You can't mount it above this dresser. Which he bought on credit. Mirror, and that mirror can because, be obviously. You could try to mount it up there, but if you do, now you're going to have all these ugly wires running down the wall. No, it's We're not a big for deal. A taller, narrow stand to fit here. What? We haven't been able to find one yet. All we found are wider ones. Bro, this guy has the strangest fucking problems. Lock the passage. And look at that whole room. That is the storage nook. Yeah, that's just full of garbage. Way into our little nook that I'm about to show you, and we didn't want to block it, and that's why I haven't done anything about it. So right now, yeah, this is what 22 yeah, inches, 21 inch. I don't know how the measurements are. And we're stuck I don't use that. inches. We watch Blue Razor TV on it, but I'd like to do something better. I wonder if people have recommendations. And no. The number one recommendation is probably going to be put it on top of the dresser. That completely eliminates the point of the dresser. You won't be able the number to one recommendation is to log into Minecraft, yeah. Phil. That's the number one. Hello. Yeah, if you don't want to use the mirror. Well, we have three in the bathroom. <laughs> All right. So this is the no. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. This is a good comment. Um, Mr. Dr. Inspector Larry says, when DSP was having all his alpha male party stories in college, Panda would have been nine years old. <laughs> Holy shit. Your life is nothing. You're gonna stay on my dick until you die. Amazing, amazing, Phil. Amazing. Holy you shit! Is that first of all, I get like shivers just was. thinking about we it. First moved in, we literally just threw shit in here. We this is so weird, man. Packed a lot of the stuff that was in this nook. Okay, you can see here our luggage. My old dressers from my old bedroom in Connecticut are in here. They're empty. Why did you bring all this shit? Diana put some of her clothing in those temporarily, but when we were waiting for the other dressers to show up. My old nightstand from Connecticut. Uh, winter bedding, which is the heavier bedding we're going to be using later in the year. 
Yes, ladies and gentlemen, a whole bin full of Project 7 t-shirts. Uh, Unsold Project 7 t-shirts. You should give them away. They will never sell, and more than likely, I'm going to start giving them away, especially in the hardcore gaming season. I'll probably yeah, give them away no. in a couple of weeks. No. Just for the hell of it. You didn't do that. I don't need them. I know no one's going to want to buy them. <laughs> so coming up, I'm going to be doing giveaways for these. Okay? But then the problem was the shipping or whatever. Who wants a Project 7 fucking t-shirt? A failed project that was canceled while it was running. But mostly what you see back here Come on. is exactly what you see. Did they even, like, finish the first thing? Was Did it have an end to the story and, like, a conclusion? The models. All yeah. those models. Oh, the way, oh and all these fucking the toys. Skylight Holy butt. hell. All the models. And Skylight is chill, I guess. Panda can escape from there. Toys. When she go, goes to meet Tyrone in the middle of the night. From Connecticut. And I have had zero desire to unpack any of these. I really just don't think that they fit into this house you know what i mean like i don't feel like like this is a home <laughs> yesterday's clip with the bald spot uh i don't know how i can find that but uh, me, maybe later yeah this isn't a bachelor pad anymore that i need to decorate that bald spot was chill i really feel like this this stuff is just kind yeah. of sitting here and i'm thinking uh, that eventually I this is sense. tens of thousands of dollars all of this that you can see in this frame is tens of thousands of dollars that could have gone on anything else. Okay, no, then I can I, uh, I can find the clip. Uh, a few weeks ago, and people flipped out. They were like, I flipped out. You, sell? you bought all that stuff, and now you're going to sell it. You're out of your mind. And like, yeah, I can understand people having that opinion. But at the same time, I feel yeah, like... Yeah, he's you know, rocking. Why is he rocking sure like that? need a bunch of models yeah. for? You know? Stop it. And some of these models I actually know in particular. It's like... It's more obvious than than a lot of the times because now he's just standing in place and the camera is just moving for no reason. I'm actually looking at one or two like the She-Hulk, Super Scroll. Oh my God! The there's so much more than I thought they were. Those things skyrocketed, and I'm wondering if you know I could actually make a return on my investment on these things. This is literally thousands of dollars right here. This is probably all in all. With all the shit that's here, if I, let's assuming I sold every thing here for around two hundred bucks, which I probably could get for a lot of them, I could probably make a couple thousand dollars. So it's a tough decision. It's something that I really need to think about. All right. So anyway, <laughs> we're not done yet. We still got the investment. Bathroom, the bathroom, our two offices. So I'll be right Let's back. Fucking with the investment. Conclusion. Like he said, that the the props that he bought for Project Seven, those were investments too, right? Wow. Of the house walkthrough. All right, very nice fucking conclusion of a walkthrough. What else did I want to watch? I constantly forget. Um, all right, new blinds. We watched this candle collection. No, way too boring. Way too boring. Uh, let's see what else is in my... <laughs> this is a great video that we can check out later. Uh, let's see what we have here now. Admits to playing several mobile games. Let's see this. This is like a minute long. Did a super chance do I play any mobile games? Now, most people are going to think that I'm going to say, oh, I'm not going to talk about that. Here's the truth. Um, I very well make casually play a few mobile games. Casually. And what I mean by that is every once in a while, open it up, play through it. I don't spend any money in them. I just That's wrong. Around with them. That's wrong. And uh, I'm not going to tell you what games they are, because sadly, what happens when people talk about me and mobile games and shit? They make shit up. They literally create drama on the Internet. So do I play a few mobile games? Actually, yeah, I dabble in a few every once in a while. You spend money on them. You just lied. Okay. But I'm not going to tell you what they are or anything about them at all, because all you would do is have people making shit up on the internet about it constantly. No, it's like, it's, it's pretty factual at this point. And they can go fuck themselves. So, uh, right. No, I think you can go fuck yourself. Yeah, next thing uh, we're going to watch is uh, DSP tries it compulsive hoarding and being a man-child. Your life is nothing. You served so all purpose. And yeah, the, the Connecticut bucket list, that I was also thinking about. Yeah, we can go check that out. Let's see, the hoarding. The hoarding saga. Um, now, this is a funny story. I have so much shit in my living room that this is going to not only blow your mind, but you're going to say, Phil, Oh my you're, fucking you're god. Fucking... Yeah, you are. Yeah, you totally are. Uh, what do they call Hoarder? No, yeah. I'm not. We've got, that's right, the heavy. Oh from my Keyboard fucking god. Two. We've got a watch. On top of it is my high school ring. We got all kinds of shit. Look, Mario Kart games that I got as my reward. What's my, with the fucking wallet. flashlight? All kinds of Are you robbing the place? Shit there. My spare keys to my BMW. That's the soldier from Team Fortress. Soldier 2. boy. 
This is a cool hedgehog uh, stuffed animal that I got at the Philadelphia Zoo with my girlfriend. She told me I should get one, and I did. This is my scorpion model. This yeah, is he's basically like Christian. Fucking this Christian level. Why do you need so many toys? Okay. It's so, like, just thrown there. There's no taste yeah, to it. The, it's fucking terrible. What the, the fuck is this? The geode. And we burn candles together. Wow, they burn candles. They do fucking satanic rituals for her to become of age. So <laughs> he's not a, uh, a, you know what. <laughs> this is my Dragon Ball Z five. No, that's one, two, three, four, five, six star Dragon Ball replica. Awesome. That someone got me it's like a fan. six star Hulk Hogan. Collector's Edition mask from uh, Darksiders 2. This is the Songbird from Bioshock Infinite Collector's Edition. Underneath there is a watch, which I'm not going to open right now. This is a new edition. Poison Ivy. Oh, yeah. Hubba, hubba. Mother's Milk. Tits. Let's yeah. go. Anyway, she's got these uh, plants next to her that are viciously biting. All right. Okay. It's a poison ivy model. It's a new edition. Yeah, this collection. is just uh, a new edition. No, this is no, <laughs> no, Behind no. Her, stop buying shit like this. Pin collection from one of the, it was one of the platinum rewards for Club Nintendo one of these years, uh, previous. All right. Next to her, this is another new edition, which I don't know how well you can see them. Black Mage 666 super chatted $2. Class rings are like 500 bucks. Grew up poor though. Yeah, he grew up poor. But um, thankfully his culture taught him to be clean and pristine, not like those other kids. <laughs> this is Sagat. Black Mage for a super chat. statue of Sagat from Street Fighter. Sagat? He's wearing the classic trunks, okay? All right, let's that see the next one. Real fabric leg wraps. I love this fucking statue. Real fabric, fabric leg Drake wraps. Day. Wow. From uh, our local arcade, Spanky's Arcade. We've also got a Nathan Drake action figure, and we've got a Ryu action figure. But in front of that, this is another one you might not have seen. Yeah. Have you Duke tried Duke collecting Duke some bitches, statue, DSP? Which is absolutely <laughs> awesome. I love it. Look at that. All right. We've got the statue from the Dead Space 3. Yeah, the nun girlfriend got him the ring. The uh, idol of... Uh, <laughs> she proposed Mark, to him. Marker. The Duke Nukem... What? Bust? Bust! bust. From yes! The Duke Nukem Forever Collector's Edition from a couple a small years bus. Back. The Medic from Team Fortress 2. All right. Bro, what is His like... I'm, I'm, I'm so fucking overwhelmed with this bullshit. Why do you need all this garbage? From Borderlands 2. Literally useless. We've got the Isaac Clarke statue of Dead Space. I don't have it plugged in, so I can't light it up for you right now. Because it's like, I would appreciate more. One single statue of these that is put in a nice fucking place that has like LEDs on it or some fucking cool environment. That is like a, a, a piece when I walk into your living room, I see it and it's interesting and it's a thing that I can ask you about and we can talk about it and it's cool and it looks nice. And this is just hoarding garbage just for, uh, for, for cloud basically to say that you're a gamer and to flex with the fucking money that you could have spent on, on basic bills. You know what I mean? Now behind him is the Joker. Yeah, you're the Joker. Very cool. All right. This is the lamp, the collector's edition lamp from Metal Gear Solid uh, Rising, or I'm sorry, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, whatever the fuck you want to call it. And it's not plugged in right now, but obviously you've seen the, or if you haven't seen it, you can see the he video. He doesn't know the game, the name of the game. Like he didn't know what it is, but he bought a collectible Boxing, for it. it. Why? On the King of Hate vlogs. This is the tank from uh, Left 4 Dead 2. Bruh. This is the female sack girl. Obviously sack boy. A bunch of Simpsons figures that a fan sent me several years ago. A picture that my girlfriend bought me at Too Many Games last year. All right. Of Mario. Yeah, you should break up. And this is the Guile statue. This is actually made, I believe, by the same company as the Sagat statue. Only this was the one from several years ago. I've had this for a long time. And so I have him here over the near the American flag. Okay. All right. Very tasteful. Amazing. Serious. It's like a Lego city. You're going to say, what the fuck am I looking Except at? Except trash. You're about to see a royal mess. This is yeah, what, what the happened fuck? to my condo in the past year. It literally is the hoarding segment in a massive, massive statue of the Hulk. So much Why? Stuff. That my car just can't consider. Look at this. Look at this. Look, look at this. Look at yeah, the floor. Yeah, what the fuck? It's, it's a fucking hideous mess. And I wish, I really wish that I had somewhere to put this shit. Holy but shit. I don't. 
and I like a lot of all the models and everything, obviously, the gameplay equipment and all this. I need all this stuff, but I don't know where to fucking put anything, because I live in this tiny condo, and I need a bigger place, okay? So, my first bar stool. Yeah, this is definitely a Chris Chan segment. It, it totally feels authentic to, like, ancient Chris Chan vlogs. The Lego games, which I've talked about, that I love. I, I started playing these Lego games. I played Lego Indiana Jones and I got hooked. So I bought all the Lego games, well, not all of them, but a lot of them here on Xbox 360. He I hates them now. Through he hates them because they were glitching. I'm now playing Lego Batman 1. And I stopped because I got distracted by other stuff, as I always do. I'm sure I'll get back to them. But below them is the release list, supposedly, look, printed 416. So it says 41613. Yeah, docs the list. The release games list from GameStop. They printed this for me in April. <laughs> April. And I never really did anything with it. I was supposed to update my gaming calendar with it, okay? Since then, I already have. So that's kind of old shit. This is the box that I bought my, my uh, laptop from. They gave me a really good open box price, even cheaper than that one for the laptop. That's Yo, what the fuck, sure. man? Yes, the one that they sent me like a month ago, and I did a video on. Yeah, hey, awesome! It's there an it Xbox 360. Under a bunch of shit, and I'm not using it. Epic. <laughs> Here we've got. He was balling too charger, hard. Okay. This battery charger is used to p charge portable devices like my iPad, my iPhone. Yeah, everybody uh, knows DDP, fucking <laughs> holy yoga shit. Set. DDP yoga. I'm doing. There's DDP actually no. doing yoga poses. Look, look at no, this. No, not doing any of that. Guess what? How the fuck would I do yoga? Here's my feet. Hobbit feet. There's my table. That's like <laughs> no clean. Four feet. Clean. I, I thought I was gonna be able to do you yoga. You can clean it. I'm gonna obviously have to move all my equipment, which I can't do because I need this table here to record everything. Oh day. no! Shut up. He was with with these fucking excuses since the dawn of time. He has had excuses. Terrible. So there's no room in this condo to do yoga. All right. Fucking I just can't do yoga. It and it sucks because I really wanted to do it to help. Yeah, my you really want to do yoga. Right, no. The first second it, he feels the mildest pain, I can't do it, man. What if I hurt myself? Battery charger down there. We've got bags, various satchel bags and different no. bags. This, okay. Yeah, you this can do yoga candles. outside. My girlfriend loves candles. She bought yeah, me, like I said, <laughs> Candle Christmas. hoarding. And when she's here, we burn candles every night. And, and it burn good. candles. It smells really good. It's a good way to deodorize my place, because I'll be honest, I don't clean my place super often. <laughs> so it's a good way to deodorize my place. <laughs> And, uh, Hilarious. So we have a box full my of place stinks when my girlfriend comes over because I hoard too much and I don't clean. Candles here that we burn from time to time. What a fucking gamer. I'm not embarrassed to say. It. I'm you know, not embarrassed. You should be. And I share stuff with her. Oh no, not the fucking candles. Nobody cares about that. You shouldn't be embarrassed that you can't even turn around in your apartment and not stumble into some statue with big titties. You think that burning candles is gay? That what you should be probably ashamed about. Not Binary. burning candles being gay. If you can believe candles it, smell full nice. M8 Avenger full scale replica assault rifle from Mass Effect 3. Yes, this was going to be used in Project 7, and we never got to that episode. Yeah, why did you fucking buy this garbage? I'm a bitch. All right. Yeah, you, that's a stupid fucking decision, DSP. That's your fault. Wow, we're 10 minutes in, and I only just got around the corner of the counter. This is going to be a very long series. We're going to get back to this in a second. I'll be right back. No, you won't. Uh, let's see some other stuff. <laughs> what else do we have to watch? I saw a couple of them. Uh, yeah, I fucking remember the, the Connecticut thing. What was it? Bucket list. Uh, DSP Gaming. CT bucket list. Let's see. It was so good. I remember. And it was just eating and going to spend money at places, which is a, a prime DSP activity. Uh, he loves doing that. Local shopping. Best pizza ever. Vinny's Pizza. I'm not going to watch this. I don't want to get too hungry. And uh, zoo, 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 zoo. So much fucking zoo lunch game exchange but that's like one minute vlogs statues are packed let's see this and the condo looks different let's see this should be interesting all right so what you were seeing is the end of about hey, big two up hours slip. Of what's up we did this afternoon as you can see the corner of the car that was no 666 tipped one dollar his place stinks because he bathes once a month and that Hulk statue is covered in stale pictures that he never cleans. <laughs> it's covered in pig fat. No. Longer with no. 
Stay back. It's all set you. Uh, big ups, Black Man, for the tip. models that I have here in my condo. They're all Mitch now Murder. Who is Mitch Phil? Murder? Why'd you keep the boxes? Why I know what you you're talking about, dude. All those models. This is the reason why. Because these yeah, that's are all. Of styrofoam <laughs> Look at the pose he's making. It's very uh, seductive. My statues and models when I move. Oh my god. So we did a lot of work. So many toys. Things got broken, which we expected. Stop a few it. things went a little bit easier. Some things were a little bit tougher. But the bottom line is all the major stuff is packed up. All we got to do now eventually is rearrange this. Because my whole side of my condo is boxes now. I need to rearrange them. Okay. But what you're going to notice is how different the condo is. Oh, song I'm playing. No it's a um, hotline Miami thing. Well, no frantic aerobics. Look how different this looks. There's almost nothing. I mean, the only things that you see here are video game related. For example, you know, the sword lamp. These sword lamp. You know, the little baubles here and there. All this the garbage. Games, but none of the major models are out anymore. So with the major the models. Out, this bar, and there's man. so many DVDs and Blu-rays so and stuff. Completely cleared up, we'll be able to use uh, it. And he knows nothing about any of this. Yeah, That's the, the thing. He's like buying statues of things that he's not even particularly a fan of. He just liked. As you can so see he bought a super expensive statue to act like he's a big fan. Well, you can actually see the Dark Soul strategy guide. There's nothing on top. So piece by piece, this is how it's going to be over the next month or so. You know, packing stuff up, cleaning stuff up. And this is how it's going to go. Uh, you know, I'm making this because a lot of people ask me, Gfil, what does it look like now? What I will probably it's do the same is shit. My piece as I pack major stuff. Like, look, we got and all he broke so many of them while packing them. I'm a hundred percent sure. Gaming related shit right here, right? All this stuff here. As I pack this stuff up, fill more and more and show you the process. Okay, of that's Mitch Murder. Okay, big up. It doesn't say who made the song. Right. There's some mix. So, all right, so that is it. Quick vlog to show everyone. Okay, and Leanna's still not doing anything because, you know, why do you expect? <laughs> what do you fucking expect? Condo transformed. Let's see, here is with uh, the, all the toys okay, gone. So Actually, not even sessions, gone, but just like, packing yeah. Things up. What we managed to do is basically take all of the models that I used to have in my condo. And pack them, yes, I understand. Mostly me. <clears throat> so this is pretty much... The extent most of my stuff, okay? A lot of stuff. It goes back all the way back to the wall, all right? But what you're gonna notice now, uh, what a difference. Oops, what a difference. <laughs> that, uh, that super speed burp was very nice. <laughs> it was just like a by the way burp. Because pretty much all this oh, stuff. Oh, the stuff beanbag is there, yeah. Stuff. Hey, look, there's a. Uh... Sack boy and sack girl. Hey, look, there's Sack boy. There's a lamp from Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. <laughs> I don't know what happened to the box because I swear to God I saved it because I knew I was going to move it and now I cannot find it, so that's bad. But everything else up here is pretty much like a knickknack, like souvenirs from our trips and stuff like that. It's nothing major. Uh, so pretty much I have regained the use of my bar, which is kind of funny because I have not had use of it. When, when, I, when we finish this, Leanna looks and says, You have a bar? <laughs> Boing kebab, super realized... chatted $2. Yeah, all Lots the garbage was on video it. Game. Lots of gamer shite. <laughs> He's a gamer, dude. He makes, uh, he used to spam videos on YouTube. He should buy all these statues and more. He just didn't have space for more, but he would have bought more. He had his bar full of shit. It was always had a thousand yeah. models and shit. Yeah, it made, it, it ruined your so, apartment layout. It, it just ruined it. It made it look so much cluttered. Because back in the previous, uh, here, in the compulsive hoarding segment, when you sit here in the beginning and you look at the living room, you can't see shit. Look at this. You can't even see it from all these garbage statues. And now you can actually see well, there is something. Here is uh, the knickknacks, little thing. It could have been an actual cool apartment if it wasn't so tacky and just unnecessarily decorated. What a difference. Look at this. What a difference it makes from start to finish. You know, from when I moved in originally to now, to finally have all that stuff down. Now, the thing is, I still got a stack of shit here, which is all my gaming-related stuff. Yeah, it's all, it's all trash. Because, uh, Phil, when you buy trash, you gotta throw out trash later. For June 3rd, so, yeah. A live stream. In the fucking schedule segment, man. He snuck it in. From the condo and have, like, a webcam set up here, where we can show the people playing who's here. This is good, because all, all the right. boxes are over there. They're kind of, all those models are out of the way. I've regained the use, you know, of the bar, so we can have stuff set up there. We can have food there, drinks, and... You know, a final set. She's spinning so guy. much and swaying and another rocking. One. There's another one here too. That's here great. Things that 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 damage the counter. That I'll have to have someone loot like. Oh, and he had also an incorrect dinner delivery. Touch at job, that day. You know, sand it and then re repaint it or finish yeah, it. Yeah, it's to not gonna do I that. Started unfortunately cluttering the place with shit, and. Uh, <clears throat> 
it looks a lot different now that all the stuff's moved around. So, all right, so that's it for Sunday. Oh, what's wrong? Oh boy. <laughs> that's it for Sunday. Tomorrow we'll probably have one to two more vlogs. Maybe only one. We'll have to see. But we're gonna go to Chips one last time. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. That's a that's a vlog. Let's see the the fake dinner delivery. Well, we've got a huge feast here. Huge on feast. Night, we were we originally yeah had only real ones feast in in takeout boxes. Reservations <laughs> at a restaurant for around six thirty ish, and we just weren't hungry. We had eaten so much good food at Sonic earlier today. We weren't hungry. Sonic. So we came home, we did some work, which I'm, I'll show you a little bit later. And as we're and doing Leanna this work, has a salad that is just lettuce, from what I can see. We got to build up a big appetite, <laughs> so we ordered out at this local uh, Italian restaurant called nice. Romano's. And Leanna got a chicken parm. That is the most cheese I think I've ever <laughs> seen yeah. on a meal. <laughs> a side salad that of looks Caesar, nice, Caesar to be honest. salad dressing. Mm -hmm. She's going to toss right now, I guess. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also got garlic knots. And then I ordered two things thinking I would, if I ordered, I would have enough food for today and tomorrow night. So I ordered a Philly cheesesteak, which doesn't really look too much like a Philly cheesesteak to me. And I also ordered a uh, ham and cheese club, which turns out to be some kind of chicken. I don't even know what this is, some kind of barbecue chicken it looks like. Let's see here. Yeah, that's barbecue. So it's fake? So I ended up with a barbecue chicken club somehow. I don't know how, I ordered ham and cheese. Hmm. Man, them fries are dry. So I guess we'll see what happens here. Unexpected food for me. The garlic knots look like the best thing here, honestly. Yeah, you guys are fucking idiots. I mean... <laughs> uh, did, did he say he ordered it the night before or something Meal. for the next fucking day? I, I, I couldn't fucking keep track of this. I was looking at the OBS sound. Anyways. What is this bed set search option? Oh my god. The amount of one minute videos. He uploaded for no reason. Holy shit. This guy is something else, man. 52 seconds. What is this even? Hello, everybody. I'm sitting here in front of the store. I'm about to go into the store. Bye. What the fuck? Wow. And this music bangs hard. But yeah, he was making the money back then, so he, he didn't care. Didn't mean right, anything. So guys, Let's see and uh, and find the the bold spot thing. <laughs> here it is. <laughs> Wants to believe he isn't a sellout. This is terrible. I'm not gonna talk about this pre-stream because I yeah it's nothing special. Very exciting time. Nothing special. He loved shitting on uh, Bobby, Bobby fucking not Bobby, Bobby Kodik, whatever Microsoft people. It's just a DSP shit, you know. You guys are too. To just be Xbox. We are. We, this will be the Xbox. The yeah, whole he was doing shorts, by the way. Yeah, that that is true. He was doing shorts before they were a thing. But shorts at least try and be funny and not just a vlog. Right here on YouTube will be DSP Gaming. I'm so excited. I'm changing everything. My logo. Wait, what the fuck is this shit? The fuck it. Get this out of here. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's a fucking nice. Oh my lord. I should enhance this. <laughs> Let's uh, hold on, hold on. We need some more X Files. Look at this. Oh my fucking god. They're saying I'm fucking balding. I'm not balding. This for my headphones. Wow. You just gotta go. You gotta go, man. Oh, there's a clip that I want to see. The DSP's new ten-year plan. That's We're gonna see this one. Much better. All right. And this was him just clowning because there's so much clown mode in his uh, current day podcast stuff. So much fucking clown mode. So I hope you guys are excited for the future. <laughs> Holy shit. It's really bad. Okay, obviously I'm... <laughs> I'm kidding. Obviously I'm kidding. Let's get this shit back up there because now I fucking tossed it on the floor and now the thing burst open on the floor. Obviously I'm kidding. The good news is... I am not a sellout. You are a sellout. You just don't have the opportunity to sell out. Nobody wants to give it to you. That's why you're not. You're not, but not by your own choice. By everybody else's choice. In any way, shape, or form. That's why you're not a sellout. Because you can't be. You physically can't be. 
just the same way that that he can't be a seller uh, he can't demand people to tip him because you literally can't force people to tip you and but back in the day when he used to be a sellout he really really used to be a sellout because we've watched all the videos he loves the the bean bag he loved it it was the best thing ever but it was a little pricey but you should buy it he loved all of the loot box loot crate stuff he never shit on it at all yeah he's a shill but not now now he's not a shill because he doesn't have the chance to be Everyone knows Xbox hates me. Remember that tweet they made in uh, the... What did they say? You jerked off? They made a joke. Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. <laughs> so the tweet was some random guy says, uh, if at first you don't succeed, it's because of hacks. He's cheating. I'm lagging. The game is dumb. My controller like broke and so on. Super chatted $2. Phil would sell it harder than Dr. Breen from HL2. Yeah, he definitely would. He would sell out the hardest. Even before he's got his money, he would sell out. Just like he's done in the past with the chairs. Uh, big O's Black Mage. And then Xbox. We're back to the tweet. Xbox responds with, okay, they're DSP. Which is a very nice tweet. About me on Twitter. <laughs> fun of me, yeah, I, fuck I, you. I basically added it to my content. And it's even a command in the chat right now. I don't know if it still auto plays or not. Actually, I don't think it does anymore. But... Mm. Yeah, Microsoft. Wow. I guess the, the the person who runs the the, the uh, wow, wow. Yeah, there it is, taking dunks into the new console generation. Fucking dunks. Uh, to take a dunk uh, into a dump. In late 2020, because it's that was an easy target, right? I am. I'm an easy target. Listen, you are. I'm 40 years old. That's really why we're here. I'm not very witty anymore. I can't really react. Never were. Quickly, I, I literally can't... never was witty. Literally never. Not ever. No. So, never. So what can I do? Was he witty? Not in his jokes, not in his uh, trash talk, not in his commentary, not in his way that he's running his stream. He was never witty. He was always completely uh, witless, fucking individual. But it is what it is. Um, this is very interesting news, and no, no. And he's also a, a physically an easy target because most people, uh, especially guys over the age of eighteen, could probably beat his ass. In, in like a in like a in real life fight. Oh, but wait, I forgot. DSP, I, I want to say DSP can knock you out in a minute, in a street fight or and in real life. In a minute, in one minute, that's all you got. Because number one, I wouldn't accept it, and number two, no one cares about me anyway. So there you go. All right. right. Probably Jasper could could beat the shit out of DSP if he wants to. It's it's secretly Jasper that's on top and and running things and calling the shots. Let's see this, uh, what was it? The the sizzling, <laughs> the sizzling thing. Let's see it. Sizzling with the swine. Uh, big ups for the membership, Jay. A member for three months. Congratulations. Buying. Activision Blizzard. I don't know why it doesn't pop out in stream elements. It's fucking glitch. Talk about it so much on the pre-stream and the first stream. I don't know how much else we could really talk about it. Oh, <laughs> just being honest here. Oof. Oof. So, so guys, tonight, if you are here on the stream and you're ready to chill and have a good time, please give the stream a like. I know there's. Don't do that. There's no point. Growing, and if you like the content, please give it a like. Here's why I say that. I'm seeing more and more every day. Yeah. Yeah, look at this. No, views. Everything is going down. Everything is going down. You're not seeing more and more anything. You, you, you might be seeing more and more people pretending that they like you just to make you feel like they're more and more people, but not, not really. Jay super chatted $2. I dropped 447 to 220 in three years. What's his excuse? Um, I don't know. A any excuse, but big ups Jay for, for dropping that. And also leaving comments Drop that. Prayer hands in chat for Jay dropping that those numbers. Seriously, like I need to uh, transform those into oh, kilos, dude. Stuff. How's he doing? Yo, what's going on here? And some people are actually chilling and hanging out and staying. And that's cool. And that's how we're going to get this channel back to prominence. So please, if you're here to chill and have a good time, if you're having a good time, please like the stream. That's yeah, you can like the stream, by the way. Okay. It, it helps, it, it factually 
factually, not just theoretically. It helps me more than it helps him if you like my stream than when you like his stream. Because when you like his stream that is in progress, he later deletes it and all your likes are fucking irrelevant. Uh, and when you like my stream, they stay. And when it turns into a video, they remain. So yeah, it, it factually is better if you like my shit than his shit. Because obviously as usual as you know and also the the way that he thinks that likes work uh it it probably doesn't in any way i'll give you a shout out since this is one of the more laid back because he thinks it's for uh discoverability and his discoverability is terrible that i'm doing yes ample opportunity for shout outs directly for any contributions that you give whether you become a channel member Super chat, super sticker. Oh yeah, Jay is taller than me. You're like one, 197. I'm like 187 or something like that. 86 maybe. Goes way back down. Then it goes up, and then it goes way back down. And we were over 330. We were almost at like 332. We were gonna hit the new the, the record again. The record is 335. We hit 335. That's the new record we've ever had. Yeah, I don't know. They're going down, man. Goes all the way back down to 318. Well, I can't really do much about that, right? <clears throat> so, um, I guess we'll see. Anyway. Um, that being said, I appreciate all contributions. As you know, we have all kinds of reward tiers in effect. At $50, it's Gunner Glasses time. At $100 raise, you get to pick a hat for me to wear. Tonight, the hats would be the cow. Wait, what, uh, what, what's happening? Sorry to keep you waiting, Sensei. Let's just oh, no, this hat. is disgusting. Nice, they got in trouble. Oh. Sensei, are you done teaching for the day? <sighs> oh, sleepy. <laughs> Bro, if if I was working with this guy, I would have conspired with the entire shift to just kill him in secret. A thousand percent. A million percent. If I was working with him. He would bother the shit out of me, I'm sure. Greg always knows best. Of course, he always knows best. He's he's done this for 14 million years, man. Come on. Big ups, day glow for the super chill. Stretch my legs to this way. Oh, and more meandering, going around, stretching. Bro, you literally just sit in a very comfortable chair that is intended to be very comfortable. You sit on this and you play video games. That's your job. And you complain more than people that, that work in a, a lot of things. Last month or two, I started having a coffee. Oh my god, all right. And the coffee kind of negates that. As you can see, I actually have energy and everything. But sometimes my body still feels a little fatigued. So I got to get up and stretch a little bit. But it's all good. Okay. Okay. Do I add whiskey to my coffee? No. Nikki really, super chatted $4.99. Funny how all the fake members are disappearing. Whoa, dude. Yeah, it's very interesting. It's very interesting. Where do they go? In the middle of the Big ups, uh, Nick E for the super chill. Did I ever go gardening with my mom? No. Jay super chatted $2. DSP now sponsored by labored breathing accessories. <laughs> yeah, they should, uh, they should send him a, a custom style snort strap. She actually maintained a garden and to this day she still maintains plants and stuff around her house back uh, home in Connecticut. But no, I never gardened with her. What I would do is I would do yard work while she was gardening. So I would be pulling up weeds, uh, mowing the lawn, smoking them, keeping, doing like like the dirty work while she did the actual gardening work of like planting nice flowers and stuff like that. Yeah, custom inhaler, yeah, well, pretty that. much. Now I remember watering flowers. Now I absolutely wow. remember my mom sending me and I would water flowers every once in a while. In uh, uh, in Animal Crossing, doing in it. The Sims. Jay's asking how my parents are doing. I mean, they're doing all right. They're, they're dying, okay. remember? But, you know, nothing terrible has been happening. So nothing terrible. Okay. They were gonna die like two years ago. What the? They're pissing on the flowers. <laughs> There's a rainbow. <laughs> the rainbow. A piss rainbow. You gotta make sure they're well watered. <laughs> yeah. It's an amazing they're fucking joke. Up. You know what's actually weird about this? They're literally standing next to each other with their dicks out, pissing next to each other. And they what the fuck are you talking about, bruh? Do it, bro. What? With their... The this was very descriptive. Were their dicks big? <laughs> they have veins on them? 
Come on, Phil. Keep going. Yeah, super chatted two dollars. <laughs> Get your hate army CPAP today. Bro, always the the hate army wants you to enlist. Oh, huh? Fuck, bro. You bastards! How dare you ruin my flowers, you fucking little brats! Oh, this is the gameplay that gets uh, the hundreds of dollars a day. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> Not just the gameplay, the the actual, because this is just pure uh, pure fill. There's nothing else. It's just his face, <laughs> which is actually a very good idea for content, for a style of content. It's just his face. Should you remember earlier tonight? Um, I know for a fact I saw you talking in chat and it showed the uh the crown next to you. I'm looking right now, uh I'm scrolling way up as far as I can. Uh, here it is. Okay, hold Hello. on a second. As of seven thirty seven, it showed that you were a member. And then all of a sudden, we talked again. At maybe it expired. Two dollars. Super blind man chats with Ket in horse code. Your membership. <laughs> Probably. What is horse code, dude? They don't have. Uh... Uh, what? Oh yeah, yeah. I I get it. I get it now. I get it. <laughs> Big ups, Jay, for the super chat. YouTube's auto renewal system actually works. I don't know. So I apologize, this doesn't sound like it's something that I can help you with. What I would say is I would wait uh, overnight. If tomorrow it still shows as unmember, like, like you can't, like you're not a member, you could try manually doing it or you could contact YouTube and say, I don't know why that would have happened. Yeah, it definitely showed that you had it earlier and now it's gone and I don't know. It seems like you're the only one too. It's now like, it's gone. Yeah, he, he is getting a flashback to, to Twitch. Oh my God, is it just me? Is it a glitch? Oh no, you guys, it's not a glitch. I gotta tell you, this is permanent. Something bad is happening. You and I don't know why that would be me. That's I don't know anything. Yeah, and I apologize for that, obviously. I don't know what's going on with that. Yeah, I'm looking- Susan's fault. Just blame it on YouTube. I am, so I don't know what happened. YouTube is free, dude. Come on, can't complain. <laughs> okay. Come on, Burnout Productions. There's supposed to be gameplay here. All right, uh, guys. If you are enjoying tonight's stream, chilling with me. Please... Yo, I forgot. We used to do a, a, a Snort Burnell viewing ceremony back back in the day, but we don't do that anymore. We should start doing it. Since I don't watch most of his current day, present day nonsense, I would rather see it in like a 10 minute compressed Snort Burnell video than just watch hours of nonsense. So yeah, we should do that again. It'd be great if we could get a bunch because we have almost 200 viewers. It'd be great if we could get some more likes. It helps the stream and the channel in general for discoverability purposes, okay? Same thing if you're watching On Demand on YouTube. Chillability purposes. And uh, if you would like to uh, help out the channel, you can support the stream, or excuse me, support the channel by liking the video and leaving comments. That also helps for discoverability. Also, guys, thanks to those who did contribute so far tonight, including Super Chats from Brosov and Sarah. Brosov, yeah, and big ups. Player in particular, currently staying at the top tipper. <laughs> big ups per Kobe. Five dollars. Yeah. Sure yourself in the chill vibes the fact that i kept this in the rotation for your request if you could the rotation it, like a blunt appreciate it. okay guys all right thank you so that mission's done and that was actually one of the lingering major side missions that needed to be completed i'm actually curious uh what else do we have showing i think we there might be vr stuff we take a quick look let's see there was a whole stream as well that he did some uh, some time ago of just looking at at the Game Pass screen. He was just scrolling through Game Pass. It's what you do when you're bored at night and just looking at Netflix and you can't find anything to watch. Good, which happens to me way more than I think normal people because I have like a media server with five, six hundred movies. So every night is just scrolling through all of them and watching nothing in the end, just playing The Witcher 3 again. It's incredibly long. And it's a visual novel. That means there's little to no gameplay. It's literally reading a, a story. What's he playing today? I have no idea. A bit of like murder investigation kind of a deal. It really is like a murder mystery suspense game. Um, and if you're okay with that, great. But do not look for gameplay. There's almost no gameplay in the entirety of the game. Most gameplay comes during these uh, clash trials and things. Try to get to the bottom of, the, of, of murders. So, 
Uh, yeah, it's Skyrim today. Jasper continues. Uh, there is no fucking Stealth of Shadows. There's no troll list. I don't even know what you're talking about. The troll list. Oh, here you go. So this idiot, you're gone. MM, you're Oh, on. you're fucking gone. What is this? Oh, I see he's running a special ops going to detractor streams looking for viewers to put on a troll list and send to Phil. This is a thousand percent what he's doing because that's what this guy fucking does. He can't just chill and watch the guy on the internet and send him money if he wants to. He needs to be a fascist. He needs to be a fucking idiot and going around doxing people or looking for for identical names in detractor fucking chats so that that uh bitw awesome guy he's gonna get deleted real quick once the the list is complete is the blacklist not the tv show that shit sucks it used to be great i i, I was a big fan nothing to do with my streams at all but they come here and try to replace no shut the fuck up that's what he does he was literally doxing kevin in your chat he was threatening to dox him he revealed where he lives come on so if I see it, you're banned permanently. No discussion of it. You're done. I don't give a shit. MM is permanently banned and not coming back. He's a dumb fuck. So there you go. Okay. <laughs> what an asshole. Great JT. Oh, I don't care if he started it or not. MM is sitting here fucking repeating detractor shit. I don't give a fuck. He's repeating detractor shit. He's the one talking discussion. <laughs> it's heresy. He needs to be executed. Okay. Destroy him. Immediately. He had two coffees, a latte, a milk, and tasty. two breakfasts. Thanks. He's gonna be shitting like crazy. <laughs> He's gonna need the toilet for a while later. Damn. Kevin Bernstein did a super chat. And he says, next week doing overtime, do video on demands allow for super chat? What does that mean? What? Oh, I see what you're saying. You're saying next week you're working overtime and you're wondering if you could do a super chat during a video on demand. No, it's actually called. No. Yeah, and then he doesn't have it because his channel is fucking dead. And they would, if if it was like in limited supply or they wanted to run like a, a beta phase or I don't know, a limited edition run like they seem to be doing, the last fucking channel that, that they're going to give it to is DSP's dead ass fucking channel. He ain't getting it. You can't get super things with like a hundred views. And actually, looking at his views today was was kind of shocking. This guy has like two, three hundred views, man. Come on, I thought he was bigger than that. But at this point, his his gameplay completely fucking dead, like completely dead. Nobody cares about it. And it's shocking. Gave me the brush off, and they said. Uh, no, you can't get them. Because yeah. it's like, oh, and he's he's starting soon, but I don't watch him live anyway, so yeah, that big ups to him, I guess. Uh, because his streams, I can see why uh, they could be getting, you know, attendance. Because you have a lot of trolls that want to troll in his chat, and you have a lot of restreamers and a lot of people that are watching it on a DDM stream or somewhere else, just like Raw, that are talking about it like it's it's an event because it kind of is it's like let's see what stupid thing he's gonna say today uh but then when it comes to the on-demand stuff you already know all the stupid things he said and did so there's no point to go and check out all that shit so yeah it's uh it's very sad a site-wide rollout of this next year at some point but we don't know when yeah things take time i said so there's nothing it took you literally years to to get a a fucking capture card this thing takes years to get this they said no so, all right forget it. i'm not gonna bother oh, and, yeah and uh snort burnell has it but that's because they upload regularly and they get a, a good amount of views and have good metrics compared to you know their sub count and the views that they get it's it's good healthy numbers <laughs> and kids are not like there's no point you're wasting your fucking super things so, but anyway or what who's gonna what are they gonna tip him like 20 bucks per video what is this yeah, I mean, yeah. it's still something for him. He wants to milk literally anything Sadly. at this point. No, there is no way to do a super chat outside of um, a stream. So if you're watching videos on demand next week... I just want to have the clip thing yeah, on my I, shit. I don't need the, the super things. I just need the clip. What I would say is check the video description. You can maybe do Patreon pledge. I can just put timestamps instead. Hit me, but I know okay. you don't like the tip. I know you like to stay away from tips. Forever. I know you don't Jay like the tip. Two dollars. <laughs> Omicron is also available on demand. So. Uh yeah, it's it's on demand. Fucking chill. On demand. The. Uh... 
tell you. I don't know. I would love to have super. Uh, thank I'll you make problem. Available, but <laughs> no, big ups, Jay, for super chat. YouTube is dragging their feet and basically saying, yeah, you'll eventually, everyone will eventually get it, but you can't just get it. So I know it sucks. Yeah, like Omicron. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are one hour into tonight's chill stream of uh, Lost Judgment. Hope that you guys are having a good time. First of all, thanks. No, for not really. Relax again to help. <laughs> you keep going. But I can't keep it around if it's going to be a $9 night. You know yeah. what I'm saying? This yeah. This is a business that I have to maintain as well. Well, yeah. So hopefully... I already you told you. Cut it off. Now the end of the stream the trash. Hour. I hope so. I want to keep doing this side content. I'm enjoying doing it with you and chilling with you. But we have to keep it going as well as, as you know, with support. So please do if you can. Remember all the goals that we're trying to do. You know, the $50 glasses goal, $100 hat goal. And the, the best yeah, goal. this is just this is just sizzling piggy. The fucking oh yeah, give it a like. No, it's irrelevant. It's irrelevant. Giving it a like, it's literally worthless. Literally worthless. Time you out because you're. What, what does it say? Can you stop complaining about these gifted memberships and stream options on YouTube? Jesus, man, it's like every day you complain about it. You're fucking right, Victor. So you're bitching about me bitching, saying that I bitch about something every day when I barely ever mention it. So you're a liar, and you can get time Fucking down. liar. Oh, my God. Because talking to this human fucking being needs to be like a very special process. You can't just tell him, bitch, stop fucking complaining about this. You need to say, uh, Mr. Burnell, Phil, sir. I've noticed lately, occasionally, on very separate instances at this day and this day and this time and this time, you have expressed complaints or expressed, uh, I don't fucking know, dismay with the fact that gifted memberships haven't been implemented yet. Could you please consider stopping doing that because it is... Uh, derailing from the experience of your stream. And you need to write this as an email to uh, whatever it was, darksidephil at hotmail.com. And then you get banned. You're not. Because you can't fucking talk to this guy in any way. Can't talk to him. And he knows he's bitching about it. He knows he's bitching about it. But, you know, you're getting banned. All right, so here we go. Because it's not every day. LeBron, if it doesn't let you super chat, you got to figure it out on your own. Because super chatting is definitely working tonight. A lot of other people are. So I'm, I'm not here to fix the YouTube technical side issues for you. I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry that's happening. Yeah, you need to talk to him like he's a baby. Yes, you are. <laughs> Slayer, it's fine, man. He says, I can't tip that much tonight. It's not about... Yeah, they can't tip like said, much tonight. <laughs> These streams are not about <laughs> get cucked. How cucked can you be that you apologize to some piece of shit on the internet that you can't give him money tonight? And and he needs to tell you, man, it's okay, it's fine, it's fine. What the fuck? How mega cucked. Overly supporting the stream. What oh, is this, this guy, Jack? Who I fucking forgot his name. I appreciate when I mean, you Medicare talks about him all the time. Expecting that, and I don't expect that. Not Jack Dorsey, that's the Twitter guy. Slayer are watching this tonight. There's over two hundred. Some cuck. Now, right? If you enjoy seeing late night content with me, that's chill, fun like this. <laughs> Please support. It. Please. How many times he begged? Like four times already. Holy fuck. Content. If they Jack Murphy, that's true. Big ups. <laughs> Thanks, Keith. Jack Murphy. Tony Danza says, I think <laughs> the king of retro. Game should go without Slayer. Some of the past streams would have been very slow. It's been 70 hours. You think you should wrap it up? Yeah, you That's should. Sad. You're done with the game. You're I done. Really do like the game. You completed I really, it. Really do like the game. But Quit it. Drop it. Again, this is my hobby, and I play games that I like. Dude, this is ridiculous. Another run roll. Every roll has been a fucking one or two. Here it goes. You know, I really like the game, but like I said, there's not much I could do if I'm operating a business and people are telling me they don't want to do it no more. What's funny is we still have, we have the same amount of people on the stream tonight as we're here for the whole major playthrough. It was around 200 people every time that I streamed it. So it's not like we have a reduction in the amount of people here are chilling. People are yeah, enjoying it. 200 people? I guess it has to be about people supporting too, which, which sucks. 300 I like people? I don't know. I, I have to have it be that way. It's my job. You know. Yeah, you should get a better job or try or do something. Just do anything. Just do anything. It really Except is. complain and just state, uh, I, there's nothing I can do. This is my job. It sucks, but that's life. Yes. See, Brink says, keep lost judgment. It's the best chill stream. I appreciate that, Brink. I like it too. Look how much we talk tonight and we're chilling and having a good time with conversation, right? And that should be a lot of what this is about. Absolutely. It's not just about the game. It's not just about... 
income. It's about everything. And this, this game, when we played it, we've had a lot of chill, fun, and conversations. I'm not going to say no. that in any way, shape, or form. No. It's just to ask them what? what my, my memories of Lost Judgment, and I'm, it's probably going to be reverse chronological order because that's how I remember it. First, it was he changed the difficulty, overrode his save. Uh, which, of course, he was lame. Uh, then he had that whole incel segment with talking to girls, and all of it was a big problem somewhat for some reason. Uh, then he had this segment where what happened else in Lost Judgment, it was hostage several times. He was playing the school side missions for no reason while still playing the main story and hadn't completed this. Um, then uh, what else? I forgot some some other stuff, but basically it's just a, a shit playthrough. Oh, there was the gambling. The gambling was really good. He got super hyped. He was reloading the game over and over to cheese the gambling. My philosophy. Yeah, great. Robust. Okay. On my, side. <laughs> my philosophy is thus: robust. If we're having a chill and fun stream, if everyone's having a good time, and if people are entertained, and you're liking the content, you're gonna naturally support it, right? You're going to. You just, there's going to be people who are going to be enough people. There's over 200 people on the stream right now. Some of them could definitely support the stream if they like. He said fucking thus again. I fucking so, hate this. That's got to be a factor. And as much as I don't like saying, oh, maybe this is the end of the game after 70 plus hours, because I really like it, sometimes you got to draw the line. You know yeah, I mean? nobody asks you if you like it or not. It's not about you. This is not about you. None of it is. And this is his main problem. This entire thing is... For the viewers, uh, it's a okay. It's the least is for the viewers, and everything is about him and him making money and his fucking day off and him playing games and everything. It's about him. It's Baby Phil's safe zone. It's nothing else. It's not a place for entertainment. It's not for chill. Fucking chill. Don't don't get me started with how fucking terrible this is. It's not for chill, it's not for relaxation, it's not for having fun. It's for listening to him bitch about shit all day. We got over half an hour left on the stream, by the way. We got about a half an hour left. Half an hour. There's still potential that, that it could turn around, but we'll see what happens. I might, I might, by the way, go watch a little bit of him raw, because I want to eat some, uh, some spaghetti that I made. So yeah, I might just shut up and mute myself and eat, and we can watch him raw. But I, I should probably run a poll on this. Or we can also watch like a Tevin video or something. Yeah. Okay, let me let me just run a poll real quick. Oh, Mikey, I don't say that a lot these days. In fact, since 2022 has happened, or I should say, hit 2022, uh, we haven't had this issue happen at all that much. So you're full of shit, and if you want to continue to lie on the stream, you won't be on the stream anymore. You're being a dick. Lord all right, I'll let it play for at least like five minutes, um, the poll, and then then we'll see. No. I don't think so. I don't put, think I'm putting on a gamer voice. My, my, the way I talk, my mannerisms and things have changed over the years. Yeah, they've gotten more obnoxious and more redundant and more based around bullshitting and beating around the bush and, and not saying anything. Because he's become very good at basically not saying anything, but speaking for, for a long, long time. But I don't think that that necessarily has changed anything that I do on the stream, no. Okay, Raw is leading so far, 60-40, that's pretty chill. Let's see, DSP Gaming, I'm sorry I can't tip tonight, bro. Best if you try and send out a tweet. To go, to get outside, support, sorry, DSP. Sorry, I can't tip tonight, wanna send out a tweet? When do you ever tip? Yeah, when do you ever fucking tip? I love this. I love this. How much he pays attention to who gives him money, how much money they fucking give him. This guy sucks. He sucks. And you should never, ever fucking tip him. Because he's going to know your name. He's going to know your fucking email address. And he's going to be looking at them. If you tip him or not. If somebody with your name tips him, and he's going to check if that's your name and fucking address. So, so there's probably a lot of uh, Jason Michaels living in his head because uh, he thinks about him so much. Uh, there's uh, probably, I don't know, fucking David, uh, I don't know, Phillips or some shit. It's just names. I'm just saying names. <laughs> but that dax to get anybody. Eternal says this is my lowest stream in a while. Yeah, this is, for, if you mean not attendance wise and actually likes is pretty decent for, for a stream like this i got 61 likes and still climbing thanks for everyone who liked the stream tonight but yeah you know when it comes to, to never give him fucking money yeah 
One of the slowest streams I've ever done. And I'm not going to sit here and complain about oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's definitely... He wants to have files on everybody that tips. So he can know what's real and what's fake. And who's been tipping more and who's been tipping less. Yeah, I don't know. People want... This game is continue, they like the chill streams, they'll support them. Subscribe, subscribe. Yeah, because Keith Moore for a sub. People know that, it's common subscribe, sense. Subscribe. It's, it's common, common sense. sense. <laughs> you know, not only anyone's gonna bellyache if this goes away. What, 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 what was this business, common sense? Portion? Yeah, one of the slowest streams I've ever done. And I'm not gonna sit here and complain about it. You are, you are, you are sitting here and complaining about it. And saying that you're not gonna complain about it after complaining about it is also complaining about it. I'm really not. I'm not gonna sit here and whine and bitch about it. I'm just gonna say, hey, if people want this game to continue, they like the chill streams, they'll support them. If they don't, I can't keep doing them. And people know that. It's common sense. It's, it's common sense. If you don't give me money, I can't play this anymore. It's, it's common sense. <laughs> to me like that's kind of what people are saying. Yeah. Fuck it. Stop talking about it. Stop complaining. Today, nope. Just we stop. No new members. New members but no new members, so we're still 318 where we started. New memberships are a fantasy. An illusion. Let's see what is uh, the, the Mr. Cowboy doing. I'm going to be as honest and upfront with both the, the live stream viewers as well as the on-demand viewers. All right? Here's what I... Oh, no, it's not going to start anytime soon. It has like 145 people. It's going to wait until like 200. Right? We have fun conversations. Just terrible fucking music. Pretty decent for oh yeah, it's just coping. I love this. Shower me in copium. I got 200, almost 250 viewers on the stream tonight. Right? Awesome. What? The likes were good. I'm sure. That I doesn't matter. They don't matter. They don't exist. They're irrelevant. Those likes you get during the stream are irrelevant. They don't mean anything. People will like these videos when they watch. Them. Literally don't. Comments and all that. But I'm just gonna be honest with you. Don't I, be. This, this Lie to me. Lie to me. I've had in many, Please. Many, 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 many streams. Okay. The, the worst. I'm not supposed to care, DSP. I'm literally not supposed to. Support stream I've had of 2022 by far. And it sucks that this has happened with this game because I really like this game. Just being very honest with all of you. I love it. I really enjoyed playing it as long as I did. And I said I wanted to go back once a week for post-game content because there seemed to be demand. But as I said, my philosophy is thus. Robots. Oh my fucking god, my philosophy is thus. They're watching and they're liking some content, they're going to support it, right? And I, I'll say this again because I've said this as well. I feel like for a while, especially around the last. And this years, just pignosis. It's literally just pignosis. Supporting the streams in a huge way. Yeah, and you should fucking take a note and see hey, one guy is giving me so much money. Uh, that if he stops, I'll be left with 17 fucking dollars. And you should have figured this out already. Not to say that there weren't other people. Okay? Yeah, you literally should have. It was definitely Slayer who was coming in as the hero of a lot of those streams and coming in with like a big Hail Mary, you know, contribution at the end or whatever. And I don't think it's fair, honestly, to do that and, and to have people come in here and be like, oh yeah, Slayer's just going to support the stream. No, that's not how it works, okay? It's not. It's just not how it works. And it's just crazy to me that the playthrough worked as long as it did, but I guess now it's 2022 and people just want new stuff. The thing is, I had a blast tonight. We had a lot of fun conversation, right? We had All right, let's yeah. uh, let's make up. Again. Let's make up a reason why this this whole community of people that are not in any way related to each other did not decide to give me money. It couldn't be. It couldn't be that they didn't want to give me money. They didn't feel like it or they didn't have enough fun. It couldn't be that. It must be because it's 2022 and they need something else to watch gameplay of. Some weird shit. Hobby and I Some copium. Yeah, it's a shit business. You should stop make having it a business. Hey, he's, he's here. Let's see. Well, same time, same place. We'll do it one more Let's see. I'm going to go get my shkeri. We'll probably go do oh, that fuck. Ninja Where did mission, this right? go? The few things that are left over as odds and ends that I'm seeing in the game. Shut up, DSP in the past. Let's see the DSP in the future. I mean, present. Um, Yeah, something is it's not chill. Okay, it's chill now. Get up to uh, close the window, then so be it. So welcome. Welcome today, everyone. I, I sneezed like a minute before I started. And now, of course... My incredibly stupid post-nasal drip is in effect. Post-nasal chill. My nose, but it doesn't help because that doesn't stop post-nasal drip, despite the fact that some ignorant people think it does. 
Um, yeah, well, then you it, fucking asshole. And, uh, Why didn't you uh, snort on your bankruptcy call, you fucking idiot? What stopped it then? Piece of shit. Why are you quiet, asshole? Say something. All right, that's, this is the show. Here it is. It's better than usual. Great. It's better than when you talk. Now I can oh, talk. It's a podcast talk show. I guess I should talk. All right. So uh, let's talk a little bit. What are we doing today? What are we doing this week, right? Uh, well, today's going to be an exciting streaming day because we're going to doing a good That's variety. a lie. He's lying already. Almost like a redo of Sunday, but not really. Uh, we're doing Skyrim Anniversary Edition. Oh, my Anniversary, fucking God. Which I'm excited for because, as you know, every time... Oh, dudes, the votes are really close. It's like 2%. Nice, relaxing, open-world fun. Um, no, actually, yeah, fuck, fuck this. Um, I'm gonna go watch Tevin. I can't do this to you and ruin the whole vibe that we built so hard so far. I'm not gonna be doing this. Instead, we're gonna be watching some uh, uh, Almighty Tevin stuff from uh, I don't know when. Something that I remember that I liked and was chill. Uh, and preferably short. We're gonna watch a little bit. The bankruptcy documents. Let's see those for some uh, extra... Let's see, extra lore? Or is there something shorter? What is there here? Because that's just a lot of paperwork. Yeah, I'm gonna... <laughs> I, I'm scamming you with the vote, huh? Yeah, I realize it's just a bad idea. It's just a bad idea. I'm sorry. I didn't think about it through. Because I started watching him, and now it's gonna be 20 minutes of, um, of, of shitty schedule. And then it's gonna be 20 more minutes of, of nonsense. Really, it's, it's, it's not worth it. Plus, I hate watching it. I, I wouldn't want to watch it. Uh, let's see the depression live stuff. And then we're going <laughs> to... I, I was watching this today. And we're going to skip to the depression part. I hope there is a timestamp for it here. I'm going to ignore my chat saying that I scammed them. I'm ignoring all of you, so good luck. <laughs> Begging segment, depression, king of suffering. Okay, here, here's where it starts. Depression. And it, yeah, he did I'm laugh after saying it. Cocktail of medication. Cocktail of fucking meds. Uh, and let so me close the bunch of medication. the stolen poll. <laughs> I subtract all the votes, dude. So funny, I was on a bunch of medications that had me develop depression that I'm gonna tell the internet about 15 years later. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm gonna so go yeah, bring the spaghetti. Actually. I'm still gonna be saying something oh. from time to time. I'm just fucking oh, starving. It is fucking hilarious. <laughs> Give him a Seinfeld laugh too. <laughs> Obviously. Cocktail of medications. <laughs> and he was one jigging or the pieces. two of the medications known side effects were that it could cause depression. Uh. But I didn't know that because I didn't read the side effects. I was just trusting my my people. <laughs> he was just popping pills. And so I ended up taking this medication that literally within like two months just of like medication, cat. my whole personality was changing. Okay. I went from this like more positive, happy go lucky kind of a guy to more of like a dark. So that's when a Latina chick stopped liking him. And that's why he was wearing all black when he went to those really old fighting game tournaments. He was, the medication made him edgy. A brooding kind of guy. Yep, and medication made him edgy. I felt in my head that I'm never gonna have success. It doesn't matter how much I work at life or how much I do that I'm gonna be worthless. You know, girl. Hey. <laughs> he was right all along. He was right all along. Depression was right. Rules will never Depression win. wins. Fatality. You know, it's just real negativity, a big ball, everything, just negative, 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 negative. Just okay. like it's pre stream. No matter what, how success I had, I would do great in school. The you king know, of suffering. I'd go on a Dave date Bennett. with a girl or whatever, go to, you know, hang out with my friends, have yeah, fun. Yeah, dark side and I would be the outgoing, kind of happy go lucky guy. But that was my outer appearance inside, in my head. It was literally the I'll opposite. Say, okay, so now like, he was pretending like was to be happy like, about I life, but he wasn't. I wasn't a friendly guy. Like, people were just bullshitting me. Okay. I wasn't a good I guy. I wasn't funny. I wasn't chairs. attractive. None of those he things wasn't mattered. Attractive. It was all bullshit in my head, you know? Because that's what it does to you. It eats you from the inside. It's kind of like they say a toxic... Explain depression to us, please. It's toxic. From the inside. 
and make you feel like no matter what you do, I'll everything you fucking world. said about he's depression, he was right. He's not attractive. He's not funny. He's not entertaining. Well, depression is fucking right, DSP. Maybe you should embrace it. Really happening, or is it just futile? It's gonna. It's not gonna last. That you're still eventually gonna fail. You're still eventually gonna have this big negative thing happen to you. Okay. Yeah, he brooded, but pretending to be happy about it. None of this shit adds up. And I stopped. I mean, I could tell you. I mean, real talk. When I was in high school, at one point, I was to the point where I, I was losing it. I wanted to either <laughs> go do what drastic, put on a trench coat, or, 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 like shoot up a school. I was like obsessed with for a while. <laughs> do something drastic with a girl for a while. Oh my, Lizzy. I want to fly away. Uh... I want to fly away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just came back from a break. Is he still talking about not getting his Wolverine toy? Oh, uh, <laughs> what, what corner have we turned? What, what dark alleyway are we driving down? <laughs> he was stalking somebody. What? A, what? <laughs> Why is he telling us? This? <laughs> thank you, thank you for the, the two seventeen. He, he was stalking some girl. Oh, it's way worse than Wolverine toy. <laughs> Oh, uh, medication. This is the same dude that told us in the beginning of this stream that he don't like to tell the internet too much information because they use it against him negatively. So I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tell him I was on a cocktail of medications in high school. It gave me depression, and I stalked the bitch. And I, I stalked the bitch in high school, and I wanted to do something drastic. And I was dark and broody. Dark and broody. You stalking a girl. You on medication. That's three things that lead up to something that's very pertinent in today's world, isn't it? You want to go pick up an AR-15, Dave? And I stop. I mean, I could tell you. I mean, real. Oh, talk, a pistol, and they can call it an automatic I weapon. Where I, I was losing it. I losing wanted it. to either do something drastic. Go do something drastic, or you know, go nuts. There was a girl who I was like obsessed with for obsessed a while, with her. and I really do feel like the reason was because of the medication. I was. Of course, it's the medication fault. He was obsessed with her. Taken, Obviously, and it wasn't because I actually was legitimately like, 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 liked that girl. It was just the meds were fucking with my head, oh, and so I was thinking of doing God. crazy shit. All right, once the meds ran out, it kind of went away, but that nagging feeling back here never went away. So my whole life, everything that I've strived to do. Every so he got medicine, because he blaming us all on a medicine. It's funny because he blames his depression on like 17 different things. One thing, one day it's the medicine and the other day it's because people make videos about you being bad at games. But because medicine he got, I mean, he's 36 now, isn't he? The medicine he got. No, you dumb bitch. It what? wasn't fraudulent. 36, 26. What? Not getting the Wolverine toy caused lifelong depression, dude. <laughs> Fucking worthless parents. His, his idiot parents. Thank you for the 100 bits and Nixon rules. So medicine he got 20 years ago has him depressed now, but it's also bills that have him depressed, and it's also views. It's the same dude that told us before, sometimes when you look at his views and the views are low and he's not making a lot of money, it makes him depressed. But now it's because of medicine he got 20 years ago. And he's talking about it because it's a high-button topic. This is all stuff he told us before. All right. Everything that I tried to turn into a pot, you know, in this an hour and five minute long video, and we just 30 minutes into it. Damn. I say a lot of, I'm the king of hate, right? I'm the guy that when people talk. All right, I'm done eating. I can't do <clears throat> that shit was I'm good. Piece of crap. And I, you know, I use that negativity. I use that toxicity to fuel me. Fuel right? himself. To it's say, like, no, I'm going to persevere. I'm going to. It's like G fuel. Boundaries. I'm going to become, uh, you know, that person. All right. That, we, we've heard this before. All right, let's go back to uh, your red regular scheduled chill or whatever it is. Uh, let me just play the music back. Oh my god. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, let's watch these. <laughs> these are great. And today, um, King Jed had a new video that was premiering. So I saw one of them during that video. It was included. It was, it's really funny. So let's watch this. Hello, hello, my friends. Darks Fidel here. Darks Fidel. Unfortunately, Emerald 7's money came in. 
He gave me 20,000, which means I will have to pay five times more taxes. <laughs> Guys, I really need your help here, so step up. Some idiot in chat says he doesn't have PayPal. So go make one, idiot. Chop chop. Also, this guy's name is Dave, which is a stupid detractor meme. So I am just going to ban. <laughs> there it's was a, more it's a great meme, video. But not quite as bad. You see, my parents are very sick. My dad has a terminal case of bad hip, and my mother is suffering from. This might be my last chance to see them again. Also, my girlfriend Kat would like to meet them. <laughs> She's just Can suffering. She says yes. She says yes. Unfortunately, she won't show up on stream anymore. It is Tuvin's fault. It's yeah. Tuvin's fault. But she is totally still here, and not at all gone. Real talk. Someone in chat said, Phil, will you need our money to visit your parents? No, you retard. That is not at all what I said. Now think about how stupid and insensitive you look. Anyway guys I need your money to see my parents. So please tip and cheer and donate to my Patreon. My Patreon. <laughs> oh this one is great. This is awesome. I alienated all my friends and family years ago. Hello sir we got a report of disturbances in the area. Is this number 17504? Oh no that is clearly next door. Moron. Alright. Thanks. Whatever. By the way. Kid, you step on the bag of crap there. <laughs> oh, come on, dude. <laughs> Guys, I was just swatted. I was almost killed. You mentally ill detractors really need to get some help. Also, someone sent me feces in the mail. <laughs> anyway, please be positive and send me money so I can visit my parents. Two weeks later, let's see what happened. Well, it looks like they really bit the dust. And there I was just making this up. Oh well, it had to happen eventually. Anyway, mom, dad, wherever you are. There is one thing I still meant to tell you. This serves you bitches right. For not getting me that Wolverine toy. Why did you not listen? Two. Me eat. Anyway, I hope you're burning in hell. Ack, ack, ack. <laughs> ack, ack, ack. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, oh, and you can even see what they what they made it with. So now there's another one of uh, Panda Lee in the hospital, but this one I'm going to send you so you can watch it yourself. It's a good one. Hmm. Now let's watch a couple more Phil Chill stuff, and I'm going to... Leave this and go play Witcher 3 for eternity. Let's see, what have I put in this playlist that I haven't seen? DSP is jealousy. We already went through that. Unrecorded stuff. Let's see his uh, impromptu Q&A. Or his new five-year plan. I, I would like to see that, uh, that again. Let's see here. Uh, DSP gaming. In your plan. Okay, there was a new one. It got re uh, a reboot. Okay, here we have a uh, uh, fantastic, fantastic back-to-back -back videos. The 10-year plan for Mr. Hot Stuff, and then Anne lead with the what is the 10-year plan. Beautiful. And then here's the new one. It's uh, it's four minutes long. Oh, God. And it starts with a massive burp, because of course it does. Zoya did a super chat saying, where do you see yourself in 10 years, goals, and fears? Um, dead. Um, in 10 years' time... What I would like to say is in 10 years, here's what I would like to do. And this is truthful as of now. And this could change overnight because how many times over the years has this changed because of some crazy shit that happens to me, right? I would like DSP Gaming to at least get some prominence back. And what I mean is I don't expect this channel to have giant growth. But I would hope that through dedication and hard work over the next 5 to 10 years... I can make DSP Gaming a place to come to chill and enjoy games again. And he already failed. He already failed. You don't need five years. You don't. If you've been doing this for 14, you don't need five years to make a YouTube channel somewhat fucking relevant. You don't. 
You really fucking don't. Channel. But instead, it's a place where you can come and hang out. And it was never a social, sociable, whatever nonsense bullshit. You were, you will always be DSP, and you will always be hated, and you will always have a couple of pay pigs that like you and contribute to you financially, and you're gonna have a couple of more that write you emails and make you think like you're special, and you have a lot of people supporting you. But the reality of the situation is, you're gonna be completely destroyed by by troll channels like literally everybody like Anne, like me like shinko everybody all of these guys show up Froga shows up uh secret limited shows up just look at my fucking recommended i know you can't see it because chat is there but imagine what i'm telling you is true and uh yeah that's that's what it's gonna be man you're gonna be completely ratioed by by trolls and they're gonna oversaturate the name of dsp to the point where it, the first thing they're going to be associating is is the fucking trolls. People that and not fucking not even DSP. You, you hang out with me, we have a good time, right? We're enjoying all the latest games and the like. Now, eventually, because what what we are doing is kind of funny and ironic and extremely like uh, poetic justice, which is basically he made his career off of uh, overwhelming YouTube with uh, gaming videos, so nobody can escape them. And what we're doing is similar to what we're overwhelming YouTube with reasons why you shouldn't be going and watching DSP shit and supporting him and reasons why he's a fucking asshole. So I think this is a little bit of uh, poetic justice for him to be destroyed by the same algorithm he used to cheese back in the day. I think that is, uh, it's, it's very ironic. What I was it's very Shawn Michaels. And he still, he's talking about this while, like, uh, Durag Danny said in chat and at me, at uh, 3%. He has 3 fucking percent. Come on, dude. Out ...from just being a gamer and do some other things. Maybe I could have a, sh a channel that's just talk. All we do no. on the channel is talk. No. It could be about so many No. Things. No, they, it can't be. Because you can't talk about anything. You don't know anything about anything. You Let's see several things that guys care about and i'm gonna mention some things that i care about so cars i don't personally care about cars i don't know about them a lot i ride a fucking bicycle but cars he can't talk about cars winks can talk about cars he can't talk about girls or dates or you know how hot some celebrity is because he has a wife can't he can talk about gaming but that's what this fucking stream and this channel is about he can talk about uh, not sports he doesn't follow sports he doesn't know fishing or other guy activities he's not a handy guy he's not a guy that's interested that much in animals or nature or environment he doesn't have an interesting job to talk about he doesn't have interesting life experiences to talk about he doesn't have anything to talk about he can't talk about fucking WWE because at this point who fucking cares to for him to be having a WWE show there's people that have been doing it for a long time and have already they they're the norm he can't even hold a candle to those people he can't talk about politics because he knows nothing about politics you've heard him when he was so arrogant and, and was flexing about dude uh, this stream, I'm sorry, it's gonna get a little political. And then proceeds to tell you that in the United States there is two parties, and one party that pretends like they want to help the people, and other party that doesn't even pretend they want to help people. It's basic childish fucking opinions. He can ramble on and on about food because food is fucking... Everybody can talk about food because everybody likes to eat. It's a basic human thing to, to consume food. Uh, then, what else? What else we got? He can't talk about content creation because he creates no content. He generates fucking videos. He doesn't create shit. There is no creative process to talk about. There's no editing to talk about or tips to give to people if they want to edit a video. He's terrible at giving tips about streaming because he's terrible at fucking streaming. Why do you want uh, advice from a guy whose whole career is a cautionary tale? Why? He can't talk about editing videos. What happened? F for the stream? Something happened? Nah, it looks, uh, looks legit for now. Anyways, he can't talk about anything. Different topics, things going on in the world. Can't talk about tech. Can't talk about the fucking, I don't know, like hardware stuff, PCs, components, uh, what is happening in tech. He can't talk about the stock market. Can't talk about crypto. He knows nothing. 
What is he going to talk about? What he did on his day off, which is as as uneventful as you can think. Yes, politics, religion. Yes, what? Religion. What are you going to say? Jesus was a nice guy? Thank you, Phil. I didn't fucking know that. Was he like you and they crucified him for nothing and he did nothing wrong? What is he going to say about politics? Holy shit, man. You remember when he was talking about politics and he said, I don't, uh, it was about global warming, I'm, I'm pretty sure. And he was talking about like two parties, they're fighting constantly. And he was like, dude, I don't give a fuck. Just shut up and do something now. This is his fucking take. This is his fucking take. Shut up and do something. Thanks, Bill. Fucking thanks. Things like that. Even but the things that he is mentioning he could talk about, he can't talk about a lot. You can't have a show based on this because it's going to be one episode of you being confused and then in the end of the day being fucking inevitably somebody's going to get pissed off at what you say because you're dumb. Having a talk channel I feel would be beneficial. Especially no. Because I know there are no. People who like to just hang out on my podcast and the like. And that they would like to listen to rambles. That's what they like. I'm doing. I could still have my gaming channel over here. No, we've been hearing three about this three prong plans, three prong plans, ten year plans. The guy is planning more times than fucking Planned Parenthood. Okay, this was off the top of my head. It was the first thing that came with plan that I that that I thought about. And yet, all his plans are trash. None of them worked out. The ten year plan has already failed. Like, what is it? Two years after the fact. The new 10-year plan is, is probably not going to happen even. Because he's going to make a new channel and then 50 people are going to go there. Or a thousand people. And he's going to be like, oh, dude, how can we have fucking 200,000 people? 200,000 on this channel, but like a thousand on the other one. And he's going to be struggling and he's not going to figure out how to wrap his mind around running a brand new YouTube channel. And he's going to fail again. And that's going to be it. If anything, that's going to give him popularity. Uh, it's going to be DSP talking about something stupid and then somebody like uh, Nick Rakita or The Quartering is going to pick it up and be like, hey, look at what stupid thing DSP said. And it's going to send a couple more detractors to, to a detractor stream somewhere. Channel where you can do a good variety of stuff. No. Right? But I would definitely want to separate the two. You're never doing that. I don't want to have politics and religion and other shit. And what is other shit? Movies. Are you going to talk about Harold Ramis again and Bill Murray? That you like them from the 80s? From Ghostbusters? And you're a big fan of movies. Right? And we're going to talk about Harold fucking Ramis all day. Because that's the only guy he knows. And, uh, what was he, uh, the black guy? Oh, Ernie Hudson. Yeah, thanks. They want to unplug from the drama of the world. They don't want to talk about Yeah, all, all that he can do is what he's doing right now. And he's not even doing it to, like, the best of his abilities. It's so low effort and just bland and boring and See, lifeless. So I would like to do that maybe eventually. Um, that's something down the line. Right now... No, it's not happening. So Bro, you made... Changing your domain name on your website, a massive fucking deal. This shit where you make a new channel and you brand it and you develop it, this is going to take you 35 years. Prominent. There's absolutely no time or even reason for me to even venture into doing that. But what I foresee is that as I get older, all right, I'm not going to be able to do gaming as often or as prolific Why? as I do now. Why? How are you prolific for being bad? The older you get, the worse you're going to get. Chill my reflexes my eyeballs i'm gonna lose my eyesight um you know I, I, she's gonna what yeah, gonna she's gonna get, get bald you that's true yeah you but you're 40 old. man you're not 65 you have a good actual 15 years inside of you of sitting there and playing games that's literally all you have come on a spry young guy and something i'm gonna tell you probably some of the most fun people to ever play games is old people it's like i, I don't mean old i mean like 50 plus because if you're sitting with like some cool older guy and you're playing fucking i don't know nba 2k and you're just having a beer and we're just you know shooting the shit and it's fun that's the most fucking fun because those people can just like tell you a fucking story about like back in the day or whatever this guy can only tell you about back in the day when he got fired from every job he had to jump into every new release anymore come now, on i think that i'll get wiser as i get older and i'll be able to judge games maybe even more interestingly and fairly no no I have all that experience under my belt 
But at the very same time... No, I, I like Harold Ramis. You, you don't get me with this. I like him. It's just every time he talks about him. Like, every time we talk about movies, it's... Uh, I like those movies in the 80s that are really funny. And I like the comedians, you know, like Bill Murray, Harold Ramis. I like him a lot. I like Ghostbusters. I think it's cool. Guy playing video games full time when he's 50 years what? old. What? A lot of people. Because cause old people are cool. They're funny. And especially when they know how to play games. They're they're just chill. Old people are chill as fuck. And I'm not stupid. I know you that. You ever been in like a nursery home? It's like the chillest place ever. So you would, you could almost tell that they're they're on, on pills. They're popping pills. They're lit as fuck. What I like to do is try to diversify the content. So maybe we could split the time. Maybe half the day is gaming and half the day is other content. Right? I think that would be a fair no. investment. No. No. This is terrible. You should first do it once a week. So it could uh, it could be like a, a novelty thing. You can get your extra money because it's the special weekly edition of uh, The Pig Speaks. Or whatever the fuck. And you're going to make some extra money. And then in about maybe six months, if you've worked it out, if, and if you've gotten the groove of the podcast or whatever you want to make, then you should do it probably every couple of days. But just off the gate, making it one of your daily streams, that's terrible. Um, yeah. But again, here's the thing. Who knows what's going to happen? You oh, guys that is true. Yeah. In 15 years, maybe he's going to have enough experience to talk about more than the graphics of the game. But that's just maybe. Yeah, that's a good Literally point. On a regular basis. Maybe. Why not? Right? Seriously. On a regular basis, things just go crazy. Who would have thought that I would have got kicked out of the Twitch Partner Program last year for sure? Um, everybody. Everybody. I mean, it's it's basically when he starts streaming somewhere, and it's actually fucking impressive the extent to, to which he does it, but it's kind of taken for granted that eventually he's going to get kicked out, and he's going to move away. Ten years prior, right? Actually, more than ten years prior. I don't think anyone would have predicted that. These companies have knee-jerk reactions to dumbass shit and have management changes within the companies where they make these big sweeping decisions that affect everyone negatively and no one even knows they're happening because they're not transparent. Oh, yeah, all right. Notice, I've heard this about literally everywhere he's worked because they need to go out of their way to tell him directly, Phil, this is going to happen. Here is how it's going to affect you and your income. And also, I love you. Please marry me. That's what they should say. Change and what are you going to do? But what I can tell you is this. I know for a fact that you guys have been around for so long. You've been on this crazy wild ride with me and you support me no matter what, through thick and thin, highs and lows. This so pignosis, this pignosis. This is what I'm telling you about the about the echo chamber. That is just, the echo is just him telling people that they love him and them just regurgitating it back. This is literally what his entire stream is about. And if you fall out of line, you get deleted. Lip TV, Venmo, Daily Motion. Wherever I am, you guys follow in droves and you support me. And I really, really appreciate that. Yeah, his, he, he could have talked about movies, but his love of movies is, is really not, not really a love. It's just I like watching movies because human, basically. He doesn't know anything about anything else. He doesn't know anything about uh, the, uh, the fucking scenes and direction and, and screenwriting and fucking... Um, cinematography and the music and the pacing and, and everything and the, the everything that goes into it. He's not interested in it. He just likes watching movies because he watches movies. Because no. everybody likes movies. I like movies. I'm person. Right? I'm not worried about, oh no, who will get kicked off of this one. After oh yeah, out. Venmo. I know you guys are going to be around anyway. Yeah. yeah. So looking straight, like Kevin would say, straight down the barrel of the camera. Yeah, you guys would come anywhere I go, right? And everybody who doesn't say right gets message deleted. And I appreciate that following. I really do. Um, at this point, I really wish that I could stay right here on DSP Gaming and make this work. Just being honest. Because like, <laughs> you're too lazy to do literally anything else. Yeah, I would, I would rather do this because I've been doing this. Yeah, true. I agree with you. Fuck around with other new things. Why do something more? At the same time, one of the things you have to do in this industry is keep your finger on the pulse of what's going on. You don't know what the next hot thing's going to be, and it might be right around the corner, so I got to pay attention. Yeah, today I'm working on DSP Gaming, but in five years, maybe something new comes along. Oh, yeah, thanks for pointing this out. He really is moving a lot. And I, at this point, 
I've been watching DSP and his fucking snorts don't even impress me anymore unless it's something like really earth shaking, but he's been rocking a lot in this one. Yeah. Iron is hot, as they say. So No, the iron was hot ten years ago. Ten years ago, the iron was hot. Now it's ice fucking cold. It rusted. The fucking iron rusted DSP. You you waited too much. Now let's go here. <laughs> On the grandpa Phil explains his slurring and his onset dementia <laughs> as he ages. Alright. And this might be the last thing we're gonna watch. I don't know. Let me see, maybe there's Listen gonna be to now, Gia, Oh yes, this. I've gotta watch this. I love this. What is the reason about the trolls? In the modern era? Cause uh he's an alcoholic. First of all. First of all, oh no, I hate this. I hate this. I I hate that I posted it, uh, that I played this. But now he's he's gonna start explaining to you something that is wrong. So pay attention. Obviously, this is a qualifying question, and I talked about this the other day. Qualifying questions. What it means is, the question already assumes something as a fact, even though it hasn't been proven that it's a a, a fact, and it's usually for a negative reason, and it goads you into an answer. Okay. So this a qualifying qualifying question qu fucking question. Let's see what a question it is. Why are you slurring in the modern era? Well, who says that I'm slurring in the modern era? And where's your evidence that this is a constant thing? Now here's the thing. And he is wrong. He is wrong. I get older, that things that used to be easy for me aren't as easy. That yes, as I get older, reactions get slower. The brain doesn't work as well in some cases. Um, you know what I'm saying? As you get older, things just change. Th things just changes. Things just change. Oh my God, was that a slur? Because I miss I misspoke. Here's the thing. Back in the day, um, can't fucking day, find it, man. I used to talk a lot on camera, right? But was it on live stream? No. Yeah, it's literally nothing like what he said. Now, so, what he said, and I'm gonna idea. like repeat this again because it's actually do this back in the day. Or if maybe... Oh my maybe, god, shut the fuck up, DSP. Why are you such an annoying fucking human being? Qualifying questions are in inquiries that help you learn what the lead needs to know about your solutions and determine whether they can make a purchase. This is what he fucking asked. This is what he said. Oh, by the way, this is a fucking qualifying question. I know what it is. And he was fucking wrong. This arrogant fucking asshole takes and i would upload the take that was the best one and he's and talking about back up. in the fucking days right how retarded are you man come yeah. on I, I slurred my words and it sounds yeah he slurs all the time to the point where the fucking the subtitles don't know what what he's saying most of the time Stupid. come on i would just recut it or re or redo it you see what i'm saying um and you don't you don't get that on a live stream okay other thing is i'm talking today way more than i ever did before i do a whole podcast that's usually an hour or longer in the morning. Then I'm talking all day over live gameplay, right? It's all talk, talk, talk. Yeah, he's talking about a loaded yeah. question. That's what I was looking for. He's talking about a loaded question, which is basically like I said uh, to ask him, DSP, how long have you been vegan for? Or something like that. That already assumes he's vegan. But this guy has to go on a fucking tangent again. Now it's this, but it's this, it's 10 years ago. He can't even, he can't even admit he's fucking slurring, man. Come on. It actually, I feel, if you actually compare what I do today. It's worse. What I actually used to do. Yeah, don't tell me it's better. Don't even try telling me it's better. better job of it now no, you don't. Than I used You're to. worse. I used to slur my words more or get confused more, use the wrong words. Yeah, you still do that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like a tongue tie way more often. Also... I wasn't as confident when I talked. I also, I felt like, um, what's the word? Like, I, li I listen back to some of the, the videos that I did 10, 10 or more years ago, right? I'll listen to them. And I'll sound like, man, I, I didn't sound Bad. like assertive. That's the word, assertive. I didn't feel like I how was- How do you sound assertive? Like I was, you know, it was more- Bro, how are you confident nowadays? You sit there in a fucking vest and make, make, you make fucking rants like this. You say shit like this while sitting in a fucking vest. How is this giving you any confidence? This is a man with confidence. Look I was at this. suspended because of a digital millennium copyright act strike. Fuck this shit. This oh, is assertive? No, you didn't, you motherfucking piece of shit cocksucker. 
Mark my fucking words. I'm coming for you. Your life is I'm nothing. I'm gonna find out who the fuck you are. You motherfucker. He sits there in a fucking vest and does this, which is basically the, the consequences will never be the same. Consequences will never be the same. This is one of the, the peak internet memes. Look at this. This is Phil. This is Phil. Her father, you bunch of lying, no good punks. And I know who it's coming from because I've back traced it. And I know who's emailing and who's doing it. And you've been reported to the cyber police and the state police. So you better write one more thing or screw with my computer again. You'll be arrested. End of conversation from her father. This is Phil. This is this fucking guy in the modern era, as he likes to say it, sitting there rambling for hours. This gives you confidence. For like, Fuck, man. You know, yeah, this this guy was more assertive than DSP, pretty much. Because this guy, at least I can probably consider him going out and looking for some online troll in real life to beat him up. Half the time when I was talking. And DSP, no, he's completely helpless. He can't even go outside of his own house. Um, and now I sound a lot different. Like, if you listen to me talking every day... Yeah, you sound like fucking stupid. ...in the way that I say things... <laughs> you you never, sound dumb as fuck. Uh, confident. More confident? Confident? You're confident you're begging. Because you know you can say anything, and the fucking idiot's gonna still give you money. That's why you're confident. Because you know at this point you can get away with anything. Scumbags and mental cases on the internet still support me. You're gonna stay on my dick until you die. Strength behind it? Because I've now gotten used to talking at length all yeah, day. Yeah, he was That's picking it. that ear. Uh, did he funny, look at it this time? Or did he just wipe it away on, on his legs? At Project 7. The show where it was me and my friends just dicking around, making a stupid comedy show. And a lot of the dialogue is terrible and delivered poorly. I actually feel that today, if I were to do a show like that, and I were in it, my lines would be much better. Because now I've gotten so used to doing this every day, talking all day at length, and having this kind of conversational tone with you guys and, and that my delivery is just a lot better you know what i'm saying but back then it was just kind of like i'm just talking to a game all day i'm not even talking to people i'm just kind of yelling at a game so it was a lot different kind of a, of a, a deal you know what i mean oh yeah dsp speaking of uh internet tough guys dsp has his fair share of internet tough guy moments he was threatening so many people with having their, their IPs on his forum, which, by the way, never go there. Don't go there. They're going to collect your IP. And the people running it are actual lunatics. So just don't go there. That counts as uh, touching the poop, I guess, because they, they record you. So, yeah, don't, don't do that. I'll tell you, as I get older, yes, I notice a lot of things change. Number one, I get tired more easily. I do. I find myself actually getting tired. Because you drink too much. Yeah, Stop drinking. Full of energy and be able to go all day long. Drink too much. I don't really have that anymore. Drip too hard. As I told you guys, what I like don't to do Don't stand now, too close. Might fuck around and drown from this chill. Because I have a coffee in the morning. If you got this reference, uh, you're cool. And if you didn't get it, you're probably going to call me racist. $4.99. I don't know who you are. But I will find you and I will open a credit card with you. <laughs> Yeah, can you just sign here, please? Uh, I got you. Thanks for the money, you stupid fuck. <laughs> yeah, big ups for his, Phil, for his super chat. And uh, yeah, I saw DSP versus Triforce. Someday I'm going to watch that, that video. Someday. But not today. Too lazy. During my break between the streams. Plus, I'm going to I'm gonna clock out after this one. It clears my mind completely. I might have a yeah, you should have a couple of shots. I'm either tired or maybe I eat a big meal for dinner. Oh, it kind of makes me feel real exhausted. When I have that coffee... It, it actually re-stimulates my mind to feel like I'm raring to go again. And now here we go. Yeah, it's I fucking caffeine DSP. Wow. These pre-stream podcasts are good and fun. And I can wow, I found out that when I drink coffee, I get more energy. Wow. Easily on the fly adjust. I'm answering your questions on the fly here. It makes me feel good. It does. And actually, they, they found out that, you know, certain activities like exercise. Don't do any of it. Diet, 
don't do any of it coffee a few times a day you were it's saying it's fucking unhealthy a couple of days ago come on when he was talking about fucking nutrition and in bullshit he said coffee is bad for you and now he drinks coffee every day this is the fucking guy we're talking about he flip-flops on on things that it, it's literally nothing what the fuck was that message that will actually make you oh, it was a link yeah like let me see energy. no that wasn't a link man more on the ball you know what i'm saying and i'm down i end up having to do a lot of these things as i get older because if i don't i might start slurring my words i my brain might start slowing down i don't know I, why I have i'm sorry pope this spot for for getting so, violated no, like that I by nightbot slur my words one of the dumbest 100 things. lashes for nightbot after the stream behind the scenes lashes you're a fucking asshole but yes as i get older Yes, there are things that that. Are yeah, your your pee pee doesn't go up anymore. My hand eye coordination won't be as good. <laughs> but for him, it started when he was like thirty. <laughs> Brain won't feel as sharp. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm special, so my I, I couldn't get it up when I was like thirty three. Things, in order to adjust for that, to keep myself on the ball. I'm a content creator. I can't sit here falling half a fucking sleep all day, right? I gotta be on my my fucking. Reflexes gotta be good. I got fucking Las Plagas to kill today. I can't be Las Plagas. <laughs> you know? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, this was uh, this was this stream. I'm gonna head out and have a nice, chill, interactive, uh, playing games probably. And uh, let's listen to my own shit. Yeah, because it's uh, it's pretty quick. All right. And that's it. Enjoy the I love it and the depression and the born beggar. And then I'm going to see you next time. Thanks, everybody, for sticking around. A round of applause for you, as uh, as always. I mean, for the first time. And thanks, everybody. I'll see you around. Follow me on Twitter for shit posts and follow me on Instagram for... Uh, stories so you can know when i'm gonna stream i always think that it's my fault and uh, like this stream it means the world to me it actually does more than dsp as i told you so yeah like the stream like this song go watch the song give me all your views give me all your money uh sell your soul to me and i love you i'll see you around you motherfucking piece of shit cocksucker mark my fucking words I'm coming for you. For now? Go, 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 go. It's the money, stupid fuck. I love it. Go, 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 go. I eBay. Hell! Hateful slurs. Lame brain pieces of dumb fucking shameful slurs. Why am I talking? I love it. Mr. Bernal, are you there? I am present. I understand. He's claiming that he's got $5,000 a month in expenses and only $5,000 a month in income and nets about $35. Um, it's Kevin's fault. The topic I want to discuss is depression. Depression is not a joke. It's not something to be joked about when you are not alone. You are not a horrible person because you have this. It's not your fault. There's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind, and it's always telling It's WWE Champions time. It's been tough. Um, over the last decade. It has. It's been tough. It's been tough. Over the last decade. It has. It's been tough. Phil's a beggar, Phil's fat, Phil's a loser, it's been tough, Phil's a faggot, Phil's fat, Phil's a loser, Phil's a beggar, it's been tough, Phil's a beggar, Phil's fat, Phil's a loser, it's been tough, Phil's a faggot, Phil's fat, Phil's a loser, Phil's a beggar, Super Meat Boy is in the stream chat, whining and complaining, 
See, I never talk to anyone unless they tip me or they send me money, which is completely false. All he's been doing is sitting there all night complaining that he's depressed and no one cares. And everyone's basically ignoring him because you're like, dude, we just don't care. You know, you come in, the first thing you say is you're depressed. And what are we supposed to say to that? Now he expects that I'm going to derail the whole stream to talk to him live. So let's do it. Super Meat Boy, how you doing? You're really depressed tonight, huh? You're really depressed. My stream is my place of business. Uh, the company's name is Burnell Productions. It is internet content creation of on-demand and also live video streaming services. Big up to your dad. I'm the one who operated a successful YouTube channel. Please tip me. I'm the one who operated a successful YouTube channel. Because I have bills coming up. Please pay my bills. I'm nervous. Draft for cash. You better take a sale, sale, sale. Please pay my bills. I'm nervous. Draft for cash. Get a real fucking job. I'm the one who operated a successful YouTube channel. Please tip me. I'm the one who operated a successful YouTube channel. Because I have bills coming up. They fucked me again, left and right, and my ass is so fucking stretched out at this point. It's time to push back. It's time to push back. I'm the one who operated a successful YouTube channel. Please tip me. I'm the one who operated a successful YouTube channel. Because I have bills coming up. I've never, ever used a hateful slur. Ever. And that pisses me off. Yeah, I want to watch some faggot. Some, some homo. Who's a nigger? You better take a sale, 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 sale. Why you 